is Rooms and Reptiles D and D. Um, yeah, Ray, if you would be so kind. Is it written up? Yeah, he just said it was. Where's it at? Creator Creator corner, corner. same place it always is. All right. Last time on Rooms and Reptiles, the Kobolds had a rather interesting conversation with the giant blue dragon that revealed a much deeper meaning behind the puzzle piece they once had. They were still unsure of the purpose. I'm just reading what's here. They were still unsure of the purpose, but the dragon asked for their help is enough of a reason of itself. After being ambushed by ghouls and learning about a plague in the forest, they found a strange artifact which seems to be the cause. After sealing it away, they continue on their adventure. Cool. Okay, so aside from the the, it's supposed to be they, uh, what I wrote was much more grammatically correct than what you said. Just just pointing that out. Just pointing that out. It's okay. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> it was a red dragon, not a blue one. I could have sworn it was that thing. You know what? I'm editing it. Stop playing. Alright. So. At the moment, you all find yourselves at the edge of the clearing of the uh, small uh, cottage that you recently explored. Um, in the basement and uh, underneath it in the mountain or sort of the hillside itself, it was a magical sort of anomaly uh, emanating from this central point, which you all have sealed off and placed gratuitous warnings for those who may uh, try to unearth it again. Everyone's feeling rather fine, aside from this slight sort of sunburn sensation that you're all feeling. I like that you've spent far too long out in the sun. We don't like the sun anyway. So meaning any amount of time? Yeah. So it's really a foreign sensation. Sort of like this dull um, burning and itching all over you. But whenever you try to scratch it, it just kind of hurts more. So just like a sunburn. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's what he but, said. Yeah, you guys don't know what that feels like since you don't spend much time in the sun. That's what I just said, Eric's. All right. So, what are you all doing? It is about um It's very close to morning right now. Bedtime. Or almost. Let's see if the spirit of the forest comes back to thank us, maybe. You don't see it at the moment. While we are resting, I am going to go off and do the little ritual again to summon him. Alright. Let me get my music going on my side. That's not it. There we go. All right, you set up your little circle of various um, candles and trinkets and try to um, commune with him as you did before. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Um, I want to ask Sora if the squid face can be trusted. Cobalt is roasting meat. What kind of meat? Can we still some rabbit? believe so. Your rabbit that you got. Okay. So he's um, taking the mummy outside and set it oh. alight. <clears throat> and veggies, I guess. And centipedes. Alright. Sora. Or not Sora. Rock Rock. 
Hold on, are you cheating on, on us with a different DM uh, DM group? I named the doll Sora, so I like that. Oh, uh, what, what was the exact question you asked? I got a feeling of what I should answer, but I forgot. Um, essentially, I just ask um, what her impression oh, is for right, Squid right, Face right, 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 and right, right. if he can be trusted, kind of thing. Though unorthodox, somewhat macabre, he remains somewhat innocent, sadly. That's all she says about him. Hmm. Just kind of nod, and then go back to into my meat log. I think I'm saying macabre, right? You indeed are. Wonderful. Well, he don't know what that word is, but he's acting like he does. <laughs> After ten minutes or so, you feel a presence behind you. I should have finished burning the mummy by then. The uh, mummy? Yeah, I said I took the mummy outside and burned it. All right. Uh, do I Can feel you give a me presence? A constitution saving throw. Me? Okay. Yeah. Con in the tower? Uh, yeah. Okay. He doesn't know if he wants to use lucky or not. Uh, you rolled a five. <laughs> you know what? I'll take this. <laughs> take it? Yes. You feel... no different, really. Hmm. Huh. But you notice that help. it's sort of as you move it from in, you're moving from the inside the house to like a small fire outside or your campfire, right? Yes. Okay. As you move it from the house, you notice one, it's sort of falling apart, and two, there's a lot of dust coming off of it. Cough, cough. And you notice that your lungs are burning, especially. Uh, due to that. Doesn't matter. I hate undead. If this thing <laughs> even has a chance. If this thing... You feel you nothing. Make a, you make a small funeral pyre outside. Uh, do you have any fire magic? <clears throat> I don't believe I do other than... I do! Cobalt! Ah. Cobalt, get over here. I use prestidigitation to light the fire. All right, you light the fire, and it is a few minutes before the fire is actually burning, you know, well enough. Since you didn't have firebolt or something to have that effect, firebolt doesn't light things on fire, silly. After about half an hour, the fire is definitely going very, very well. Um, Eric's. Yes. You feel a presence behind you. Is this after me doing the ritual? Is it Christmas already? I will turn around. Don't see anybody there. Then and, I... and only Eric feels this. And turning back, you see Guardian of the Forest. Seemingly <laughs> appearing from thin air. As if he was already there. I feel something different on the wind. But the sore still... claws at me. There was... We need feeling magic for that. <laughs> there was a strange magic underground we could not destroy it, but we were able to reseal it back up. I left warnings for others if they do come across it not to touch it. <laughs> Much like an elk, he snorts. You tell me that this is dealt with then? Yes. 
He stands there for a moment. Um, his arms just sort of hanging by his side. Slumped over slightly. He, fi he finally says, Good. Though, if you've lied to me now, and have only postponed or not done it at all, then I will find out. As far as I'm aware, it is dealt with. He nods. Rock, rock, all of a sudden you hear... And actually, give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, sure. In the tower? Uh, yeah. And you do not have luck, right? No. Okay. I mean, yes, yes I do. As you are sitting around the campfire, just gnawing into the bone, you're almost paralyzed by a shrill, loud, almost definitely loud, deafeningly loud scream coming from your belt. And in fact, it sort of surprised you, and you bite clean through the middle of the bone. I look sort of... sad. <laughs> That it's coming from my belt? Yeah. Precisely where the doll should be. I look down. Or, no, you said I'm paralyzed. Almost. Almost. Can I see if the doll is still there? It is. You can see it visibly writhing. As Eric's, you see the guardian say, I believe you'll find your payment. Uh, shit, I can't think of the word. Sufficient. You hear the wind whip up, Eryx, as the two candles you had lit in front of you suddenly are snuffed and the immediate area is surrounded in a vile darkness that your eyes can't penetrate but after a moment the darkness sort of lifts and the figure is not there anymore vile darkness unnatural darkness as in, it feel it felt thick, thick and impenetrable, in a way. Okay. Ruck, ruck, the doll stops screaming and remains silent. I want to ask it: as am I still paralyzed? No. No, I'm gonna get up, draw my battle axe, and ask what to the. Huh. That's, <laughs> that's all of you see is. Rock Rock suddenly stand and draw his battle axe uh, looking accusedly at the doll on his belt and asking what I don't Except see this because I'm not okay. there <laughs> yes. yeah I guess it's just me saying this oh nobody else is there are uh, you yeah, you guys are still burning the body. Okay. Cobalt is cooking over the body. No, no, over's on fire. Never mind, don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> you do not receive any response, Rock Rock. Can I do a perception check around the area? By all means. The wind 
coming from the west right now is blowing gently through the trees. And you hear the rustling of leaves and the constant chatter of insects. Other than that, you don't hear or see anything out of place. I'm just gonna stand on guard. Alright. And occasionally look at the doll with, like, eyes of concern. Could you give me an arcana check? Um, sure, because I'm good at that one. No, you're bad at it. You just get <laughs> really fucking lucky. <laughs> It True. seems to feel about the same as it was before. Yeah, that's actually all you really see. All you really uh, notice. Oh, what, the doll? Yeah. Does not okay. seem to have changed, in your opinion. It's just quiet. Yeah. All right, I'm still going to be on edge. All right. Uh, after a while, the body finishes burning to uh, a small pile of ashes. Uh, Including the wood, of course. The bones, of course, they don't really burn. Grind them to powder. With what? That's a good question. With what? I don't have a mortar and pestle. I think I do in the cart. Great, let's break these bones and grind them. I want nothing left. Well, Eryx is not there at the moment. Well, yeah. He's currently still doing his ritual. Actually, you would have finished by now. So, what are you doing now, Eryx? After I'm done, I'm gonna look around the clearing for the reward that he spoke of and then head back. You don't seem to find anything in the clearing, not even some sort of like twig that's been magically enchanted. So you head back. I figure. You arrive. Mm -hmm. You arrive to find Rock Rock standing um, at guard and uh, wielding a battle axe. Uh, what's going on? I'm gonna look around and. See if I spot what's apparently going to attack us. Rock Rock's being himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do not so, have a mortar and oh, pestle, sorry. but I do have a sledgehammer. That can work. So will you take the sledgehammer to the clearing where the uh, pyre is? Well, I don't know they need it, so... Mm -hmm. I was just saying out of character that I have that. Because I would have shared what we have with the rest of the group. Oh, of course. What are you guys in the clearing doing? The camp one? Uh, no, the um, the clearing next to the cottage where the uh, funeral pyre is. Oh, the crater. Ah. Yeah. Well, after I suppose I assume we've gotten the sledgehammer by now, and after we finish pounding the bones to bits, we're just going to bury them. Okay. Can I get both of you to roll a Constitution saving throw? Another. <laughs> Uh, in the tower, please. And All that right. includes you, Cobalt, if you are helping. Child, stand back. My hate Cobalt is busy. The undead is I'm sorry. Dead. For the record, I also have a shovel and a miner's pick. Yeah, I'm assuming you wouldn't want to use Lucky on that. Oh, alright. <laughs> and I also have a, uh, a nice... 
pitting. Show if you need any of those for digging. All right, you dig a small hole. The, the ground is relatively dry, though um, not very dense, so it's fairly easy to dig through, um, even with the remedial hand tools you have. And you bury the ashes of the uh, man who once lived in this cottage. It is now about 9 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing now? Now I'm going to lay down or I'm going to grab some food first and then go to sleep. All mm -hmm. right. Cobalt made of food. I said everyone. All right. Uh, can you give me... I can add so, do you have any cooking experience, Cobalt? Yes. I also gave him that cookbook. That is true. And I threw some garlic cloves in it. Well, I'm sure you crushed up the garlic and sprinkled it on. Cause this is just yeah, I... This is like uh, kebabs. Uh, oh, I was thinking about the stew you made before. Yeah. This is like kebabs. Could you give me an intelligence check um, with proficiency with advantage? Dova, I yeah. certainly can. I can't automatically add proficiency, so you're just going to add three to this. You're not gonna. That's true. It's right here. That's a number. These are fairly good kebabs. Especially considering the conditions that you're working with. Much, it's much, much. Nice and French, fresh with uh, French. Nice and French. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with garlic, spot. with um, some various herbs and spices. It's yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> probably one of the better meals you guys have had all week, all month, I'll, probably. I'll uh, grab my kebab. Tear off a piece of my baguette and like put it inside of it, and then pulling the rod out, and then sprinkling some garlic on it. Is that legal? What? I don't what? Think character would know what a sandwich is. Huh? I'm joking. <laughs> well, I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, he already so experimented. Yeah, with he that. already made a he already made a sandwich before. Yeah, it's true. He already revolutionized the world. Yeah, I've already made a sandwich before, and I've also made a bread bowl. I don't I remember that. Yeah, and I put stew inside of uh, some bread before, too. What do you call your uh, bread amalgamation creation? I mean, there's, there certainly needs to be a name for it. For, like my skill? No, or... for like the, the construction. Like, what's the whole... What's the bread with meat inside? What's that thing called? You're, you're the inventor. You got to name these uh, things. The, okay, so the bread with the meat inside, yeah. or like, any sort like, of like, you know, cut a piece of bread in half like you did before, and mm -hmm. you know, put something inside of it. What's that called? Oh, that'd be a muffin mountain. Yeah. <laughs> mark that down. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna write that in Cobalt's cookbook? I'm gonna write it in your notes. Oh, okay. You bet your scaly tail I am. Oh, okay, so I'll write these in my notes too. <laughs> Muffin uh, Mountain. There you go, I wrote it in there for you. I'm in guessing one note? word. How, I'm guessing how, one word, but both M's are capital. Oh, okay. Is that, is that how it goes? Uh, no. It's two words. Hmm. I'm sure if you want to have it one word, you could talk to Raku about that since that's, you know. <laughs> about what? About having the well, hey, muffin mountain be one word. He's the inventor. Cobalt is the engineer. The two go hand in hand. 
<laughs> well, I'm we here, need... I'm not here to police your um your business. <laughs> well, right now when you say the bread and filling combination, that doesn't really make too much sense. Like this is a bread and meat one. Like okay, well you can oh. sort of like the other ones. Like, bef on that. like before when I put a stew in that one, that'd be a baguette bowl. Yeah. Yeah. How about how about you keep track of all the names of the uh, bread based creations you have? Okay, I can do that. <laughs> So wait, besides Muffin Mount, what we got? Uh, the baguette ball. Anyways, what is everybody doing as you are getting ready for nighttime? Or daytime. Yeah. I'm actively patrolling around camp. Alright. Give me a perception check. I don't know how to spell baguette. B A G U E T T E. Okay. I wonder why Dovin knows how to spell it. <laughs> yes, we found so. Time to roll for encounters. Oh, uh, yeah. I take it I didn't see anything. You did not. No. Oh, wait. Did you ask for a perception? Uh, just for him, since he was actively patrolling outside. Oh, okay, because I saw a ton of dice. <laughs> I'm, I was preoccupied looking for something completely different. I'll, I'll say that, and that'll help me sleep at night. <laughs> Said roll initiative. Uh, no. The night passes rather uneventfully. The forest seems to be a bit quieter and less, um, less active well, than it was yesterday. Do I notice any sign of what this, uh, reward might be? Not really. You haven't seen anything show up in your bag, you kind of look through it, you've looked through all the stuff that you have right now, and you haven't found anything new. You're unsure of what exactly this reward entails. Well, again, I'll attempt to play with nature, perhaps focusing more on birds, bird song this time. I mean, right. heck, who knows, maybe I can get them to join in. It'll be a chorus. Be... Give me a performance check. Alright. <clears throat> in the tower? What? In the tower? Uh, yes. Alright. You mimic the various uh, bird songs and, uh, you know, the uh, various crickets next to you, and you belt out a tune that's fairly nice. It's sort of flowing, uh, continuous as you all are waking up. It's very nice, and you feel uh, rather accomplished. Although you don't don't get the birds to join in, they're still rather particular about um, if it sounds exactly like a bird or you know like a lute. I'll get it someday. <laughs> I'll pull my bow and I'll shoot out one of those birds. How dare you shoot my? You audience? sure? <laughs> no, I. I pull out my bow and false knock an arrow just to mess with uh, Sully. Because I hear that he's singing along with him. Can you give me a performance check? Sure. Let me look at my spell list. <laughs> Fuck his performance. Oh, Charisma. There It seems fairly obvious, but uh, Raku is definitely trying to mess with you by attempting to draw an arrow and sort of aiming it at one of the birds that's sort of flitting around the branches. And this is before we're going to sleep, or we've just. This is as up? you're waking up. Alright. Should I. No. I'll just ignore him. 
Okay. Let's not kill the party yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find exactly... I don't know, that can be fun. I mean, if it's XP. A single XP. Yeah, well, from what you were saying, it sounded like there was going to be a horde of, of murder crows coming in at us. <laughs> Think Zelda. No. I haven't played the new one. Well, this is just common of all of them. Well, I guess I'll play along to the tunes, to the sound of your death. Ooh, you piss <laughs> off a chicken and suddenly all of them swarm from everywhere. I'm trying to find... Where is it? It's over there. I'm it's to the left. Here. I can't find it. It's just a little to the left. A sec. A bit more to the well, left. Um, look, it's I'm no, over yeah, that's, here. That, that's too I'm far looking. left, Zim. I can't find it. Where is it? It's, it's not in that one. Okay. It's next. That's not it at all. Well, I know, I know where one is. But what about two? Okay, never mind. We'll deal with something else. After a rel relatively calm night, uh, Rock Rock, you hear Sora finally speak to you. Sad to inform you, but it appears I've been allowed access to some information. Whereas before I was really acting off hunches, I've been given a deeper insight into things. Of course, the dumbest par person in the party has the encyclopedia. Rock, rock. You know you Once per day, else to take it. Sora has the ability to cast legend lore for you. Ooh. Oh, jeez. That is quite lore. the spell. It's like a fifth level cleric spell, I think. Maybe six. Yep. It is... <laughs> I'll, I'll throw it on her, uh, her its thing. Thanks. Where is it? Yeah. Yep, level five cleric spell. Mm -hmm. Name or describe a person, place, or object. The spell brings to your mind a brief summary of the significant lore about the thing you named. The lore might consist of current tales, forgotten stories, or even secret lore that has never been widely known. Ooh, if the thing you named isn't of legendary importance, you gain no information. Ah. Right. The more information you already have about the thing, the more precise and detailed the information you receive is. The information you learn is accurate, but might be couched in figurative language. I suppose I'll keep going. For example, if you have a mysterious magic axe in hand, the spell might yield the information, Woe to the evildoer whose hand touches the axe, or even half slices the hands of the evil ones. Only a true child of stone, lover, or beloved of Moradin may awaken the true powers of the axe, and only with the sacred word Rudnok on their lips. So how do you feel about that? Mm. You can't see me, but if there was a webcam, I am smiling right now. <laughs> um, uh, okay, um, that's actually, yes, awesome. <laughs> uh, Rock Rock's gonna think to her, are you okay? That sounded painful. It was a enlightening experience, to say the least, but... I feel fine now. 
I put Perhaps my battle axe than away. Before. Oh, okay. I smile, put my battle axe away, and just like go by the fire somewhere and just sit down. There we go. So, as you all awaken, you see Rock Rock very visibly calm down as he talks to the doll for a short while. The day starts. Sorry, the day ends very innocuously with a slight drizzle. And we'll say the wind seems to um, pick up from the west, um, blowing the very light rain directly in your faces as you start to head out uh, westwards towards the town. Which has a name, which I have forgotten. As I open my map. Uh, the town of Loudwater. Which sort of butts up against the south wood, which you're currently in. Are you doing anything special as you travel along? I'm reading my books. All right. How much meat is left on that log, or is it pretty much all gone? Not very much. Um, you're starting to have to pick around the bone right now, as you know you kind of snapped it in half the previous night. There's you know bits of splinters that you're kind of spitting out, but you think you're nearly done with it. You're about three fourths done, okay. and it's starting to have this musty odor to it. You're oh. definitely reaching the end of its fresh life. Just right around the time. Um, as I'm getting closer to the bone, I'm going to take out a knife. I think I actually have a knife. Yeah, the Riddler's knife, and just start um, carving into it. Alright. You, are you looking to form anything, or are you just sort of absentmindedly doing so? Uh, making more like either like a spike or like a small bone dagger. Okay. The small knife that you use to carve into the bone just slices right into it. It almost makes it um, the consistency of a soft wood. And you sort of carve off one end and start sharpening the other into a uh, small shank. The rest of you. Anything special? Uh, no. Cobalt, Riku? Sully? I'm just, uh, restringing my loot. Gotta take good care of this thing. Fair enough. Cobalt is going to rifle through his bag and pull out what looks like a large antler. And says, huh. I wonder where I got this. Someday I'm gonna get a very good loot. But you'll he do seems, until then. <laughs> Cobalt seems to recall uh, a weird dream he had recently, and he waves the wand. Dova? Yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> you also have a medallion, though I forgot to make an actual item for it. I didn't realize it was an actual item. I thought it was just like uh, symbolic. No, it's a real. A small cinnamon bun materializes in the space between you all in the wagon. 
Cole gasps audibly and scarfs it down. Tastes it, pretty good. You know, it's a bit, hug. it's a bit cold, a little bit stale, but it's still very, very good. He then holds the wand to his face, his cheek, and says, "You are the best thing ever." You have the best whatever. <laughs> you are the best thing ever. Oh. <laughs> the wand does not respond. I, I wave one in the general direction of. Uh, Raku. I need to start making notes. <laughs> uh, what looks to be it's a only... small... What? It's only usable once per day. Oh, it is? oh. okay. Never mind then. Uh, Dova, you should have access to the story stuff that I wrote on it. It's in story. I'll put it back. Oh, there it is. There you go. DM notes at the top. So, does Rockbrock tell the rest of the party of his new ability? I'm. No, he, he keeps it to himself because it's not, he doesn't really think about it, like, at the moment because he doesn't really say anything that Sora says anyway unless it's super, super pertinent to the story. Like, the only time he's ever done that was when we were in the house with the radiation. Hmm, alright. Here I was thinking I could make a knowledge roll to see if I knew anything legendary. <laughs> I mean, you know plenty of legendary things. Yes, but which one? I won't ask you to tell me now. <laughs> It'd be a little pointless. <laughs> Unless Rock Rock knows something legendary, but... What are the chances? Yes. Well, considering his life, quite a few for stories, but he doesn't actively look into it. So what are we Tuck even do? Where are we headed again? Uh, You're heading to Loudwater at the moment. Okay. We need a really big door. Maybe a collapsible door frame. That's all we need, right? Is just a door frame? I feel you do need the actual door. Oh. No, yeah, we need the uh, we need a door and a door frame, but we don't need With like walls. Keyhole. Well, that the keyhole's in the door. Hmm. Does the door have to actively open, or does it have to just look like a door? I mean, if we just bought, like, a block and, uh, block and tackle, maybe two of them mounted it to the cart, we can just, like, wench it into place and keep it on top, and we don't need it. Well, the problem is, is that we don't want to leave the cart behind. It would literally be left sitting there for anybody to do whatever with. Have we ever gotten... The cart through the door? No, because we haven't... We've only used the door once. And then it was too small for the cart. But if we were to find some barn doors, I'm sure we'd be able to do it just fine. Does it have to have... Does said doors have to have an actual, like, doorknob and lock, or... Because barn doors don't actually have, like, a traditional lock on them. You're not quite sure. All the doors you've used them on have had... You know. The door, the frame, the yeah, knob, and the lock. Door to door. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at this from the Monsters, Inc. perspective. As long as you can open the door... It's in a door frame. You can go through it. I'm just basing this off the fact that it's a key, and every time we use the key, it goes into a lock. Mm -hmm. We haven't really done anything with a non 
door kind of thing with it. Like said orange door or something. A city gate. I think it'd be safer just to use it on normal doors. Yeah, I don't see that we're going to be getting the cart through this thing anytime soon. But if this is like a humanoid sized cart, we can just have like a two foot cobalt door built into it. That way you don't have to worry about much other stuff. I'm just worried about the cart. Maybe okay. have it rigged with the, if you put it on a cart, since we have the, is that chest the holding in the cart or on the outside of the cart? It's in, it's the, in cart. the cart. Maybe have it so when you open the door, the, at least if everything is in the chest holding, the holding goes, so then it's just a cart by itself. What? Like, if, if, are you worried about the stuff in the cart or the cart itself? Both. Both, okay, because I was going to say, if you're worried about just the stuff, then we can put the door just essentially on the entire bottom of a cart. So when you open the door, we can have it where the chest would fall into the door. But when we close it, if somebody's chasing us, then all they will see is just a weird empty cart with a donkey. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. yeah, Rock Rock wouldn't think of this, so he he would just try to kill whatever's coming after him. So, anyways, we're traveling. Yes. <clears throat> after about a f another full night of traveling, you finally arrive back at Loudwater. It's in about the same state as you left it in. You know, no smoldering piles where houses used to be. No blood running through the streets. It's fairly calm as always. Do you like to do anything special in Loudwater other than figuring out how to get back to Daggerford? As well, the, the barge who you got passage here before he's not here. Hmm. We did say that we were gonna go back to the the city. Mm -hmm. You are in the city of Loudwater right now. No, I mean we promised the Cthulhu guy that we'd go back to his city. Yeah. Till we right. return those robes, I think. Yeah, we promised this, so we gotta go back there. He also wanted us to tell, uh, to tell him about all the stuff we did. Well, he wants to pick my brain and find see what I saw, and yeah, that's gonna be fun. Same, same thing. Not exactly. <laughs> One is voluntary. <laughs> Like, I can withhold stuff if I choose for whatever reason, but... This... Well, there you go, voluntary. Not so much. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find a set of doors with a, with a keyhole in the city that would fit the cart through. Okay. Uh, you look through the city, you see a few... You... You know, warehouse doors, but they all have the same sort of sliding mechanism in them. And you also remember being told that if anyone were to find out about this and see what was going on or sort of uncover what you're doing, that would be bad news for you. That's right. I have forgotten about that part. Thank so... you for the reminder, because Eric's would have remembered. <laughs> Why don't we go to the inn and rent some rooms, then? 
or rent a room. That way we will have a door of our personal use. Could be suspicious if the uh, innkeeper doesn't notice us leave and stuff. Well, it's our room. We can do it as we please. Yes, but the point is, is that we're not supposed to let anybody else know what that this is happening. So, well, us not being in our room doesn't mean that they automatically assume we went to a different dimension through the door. No, but when we suddenly reappear... Inside of our room? And wouldn't they be busy with other clients? We don't exactly ask for room service. Well, we can do it. Well, I'm up to debate about this. We could look for an abandoned building, I suppose. Like a door to a grain stead or shed. That's up to you. Suggestions or I mean either I or no idea. Um, we can I mean rent a room but like see if the room has a closet and just use the closet. I mean who says we're not coming back? Because so far when we whatever door we enter we come back okay. out. Yes. It, my concern is more the length of time that we might be gone. I mean, we've been there twice now. There was once where it seemed two days went by. But that was during... Uh, after the battle. You also need to find a place to store Donkey. I mean, we could definitely try it in. Uh, I just think we might want to leave one person behind, maybe. Just to keep an eye on things. I could stay behind. Alright. I, I want to see if the town has any, uh... Zentarum contacts? No. Like, That's if they have any... <laughs> Well, maybe I should ask Dova. Does the town have, like, a board of, like, animals with bounties on them? Uh, certainly. Alright, I'll stay. <laughs> Alright! Well, I, I wanna make, so I wanna make some money. Today, but at the same time, I'd also like to poke around the town. I'll go with you, because it's part. killing. Okay, Cobalt, right. I guess it's just you and I. Let's go get a... a okay. room, and yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm going with you. I want to see the town. I was just saying, like, if nobody else was going to, I suppose I could volunteer. Since I'm good at talking, and if anyone asks questions, diplomacy. Okay. <laughs> Raku is staying behind. Rock Rock is staying behind. I'm going. You're going. I'm going. I have to go. He, he can't exactly prod my brain without me present. Actually, maybe he can. I, I don't know, but I'd rather not tempt that. Cobalt, I'm almost 100% certain you're coming as well. Yes, Cobalt loves this city. Okay. Alright, let's All go do it. Alright. You can rent a room at the inn. Um... You should tell them that you're doing, like, research and should not be bothered. And, like, give them two days supply at, just at this time so they don't come back looking for more money. Well, I figured we would all get just one room. Yeah, I know. But still say that you, you cannot be bothered because you're, you're doing research. And give them, like, not just today's rent, but the next day's rent just in case. All right, Dover. Absolutely. 
How much? Renting a room is fairly cheap. It's only, what, like... I forgot exactly what I had it priced at. Actually, yes, I remember exactly what I had it priced at. Five silver per day for a meal and a drink, as well as the room, of course. I will give him two gold for four days. All right. He... After you tell him that you want to be, don't want to be bothered, then he says enthusiastically, Well, what time should I bring your food up to you? I'll chime in. Um, I'll come pick it up. Well, All right, right, you're going to be eating for four. No, you're going to be eating for three plus yourself. Rock Rock's got you covered. Yeah, we're good. How much meat do you have on that bone still? I think the room only includes one meal. Uh, I finished it, and granted, it's it was like 40 pounds of meat. And I also yeah. have 70 pounds of bread on me right now. That will never go bad because they're bricks. And the quiver. All right. And I already you head have a telepathic you. companion. I have a familiar. Heading up to your room, you see that it's really it's actually the same exact room that you had before. And, uh, you know, a rope bed, um, a closet with some uh, hangers and various fur blankets inside. Perfect. There is indeed a keyhole. All right. Well, let's not waste any time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the key in the uh, closet door and open the door. Placing the key in, which really should not fit, just somehow fits. And you open it up, you see... It's kind of dark on the other side, but it's definitely sort of a grassy plain. Before I go not really, through... Not a grassy plain, but sort of an, a small field. Before I do yes. go through, uh, just in case, uh, is there a desk in the room? There is, yeah. There's another bed as well as a small sort of dresser slash desk thing. I'm going to pull out the various books I have in my bag of holding and put them on the uh, table and leave one open to okay. a random page. You do precisely so. All right. I'm just going to leave them in my inventory for now. But yeah. we know where they are. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I'm going to go through with whoever comes with. Which is Cobalt, I believe. Cobalt! And All Sully. Alright. Oh, yeah, and Sully. <laughs> You're just like, oh, yeah, and, and Sully, of course, oh. yeah, yeah. And he doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, you are now in the Hidden City again. The, and the uh, the Brutal Brothers, uh, Brutal Brothers stood behind. Do some hunting. Do some bounting. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's called bounty hunting. Yep. It's called a fun time. He's Rock the Bounty Hunter. So, since your last time here, or uh, after you had first sort of completed the trial and gained entrance, you sort of gained a knowledge of exactly sort of a rough idea of what's in this village. Um, there is a, a carrion tamer. The carrion, you get the image of sort of like a, a large cat. Um, there is the, there's sort of an insane asylum, but more of a, um, a more gentle sort of word than that. 
Um, there is a grove of apple trees, as well as some various strange sort of plants that grow quite a lot of things that aren't apples and really should not be growing on trees. In addition to that, there's a, a greenhouse built out to built out of a large mansion uh, with various um, exotic herbs and plants inside. Things that you don't see very often on the outside. The inn, which you've been in before, is a sort of sprawling two-story structure. It's fairly nice on the inside. But you didn't actually get a chance to stay at it last time. In sort of a corner, very close to the densely wooded, sort of almost wall, is a small tower inhabited by a wizard of some sort. Um, a house, a dark blue house, which you don't really know much about, other than that someone probably lives there. Um, a small house uh, next to the inn is actually uh, inhabited by a single cat who is tended by a few constructs. There's an art gallery. There's also a temple. You get the feeling that the temple is a nice place, if somewhat eccentric. And there is also a large sort of city hall. Uh, it contains uh, various businesses, traveling merchants. Uh, the merchants, of course, are very heavily screened as to who may actually enter. And you've actually visited that building before. It contained the magic shop with these small miniaturized animals. So, what do you do? First thing on the agenda, find uh, Cthulhu sure. guy. Alright, you go to his tomb. It's, you get an idea his, it's really just his house, but it looks like a tomb. He arrives after you knock on the door, saying, Ah, friends, it's good to see you back. I see you've uh, done quite well. We uh, have. Do, please Thank come you. in. And he motions inward, and again, the teacups laid out on the various uh, small tables start filling up with tea. Now... I assume you've uh, prepared yourself for the uh, for what I what I've asked for, uh, Eric's, I suppose. Yeah, you're gonna play around in my head. Not play around. It's the wrong word for it. I merely examine. I'm poking and prodding is not something I do with friends. Much, I'd imagine it's much like watching a scene or a play well, as the audience. Of a sort. It would be just me and him uh, experiencing it, and it is quite fast, actually. Uh, nevertheless, uh, would you sit down in that chair over there? And you can see two chairs which are sort of seated in tandem with one behind the other, both facing the same direction. I sit down. It's a fairly comfortable chair. And uh, you hear Shuluth kind of shamble over and sit down behind you. You hear, you're, you feel gigantic, um, sort of cold, clammy hands just kind of tap down on your head. And everything goes blank. All right, let's go back to Rock Rock and Raku. Um, looking at the sort of a bounty board, or the uh, general sort of news bulletin board of the city, mm -hmm. uh, you find a couple postings of various uh, packs of ghouls which have been um, harassing, uh, not really attacking, but more 
menacingly patrolling the edge of the woods. Although you you see that one has been torn down. Um, there's also one for a pack of wolves. And one for what looks to be a troll. I am looking happily at the troll one. What's the price on the troll one? The uh, troll one in exchange for uh, the head and all the toes. Uh, the buyer, or the uh, sort of the poster, is promising 500 gold pieces. I can deal with that. You want to go troll? <laughs> I'm just grinning. Looks like we're going troll. I'll we'll rip the thing down from the board. All right. Does it have the directions to where it is? Yes. It seems to have been last sighted at a farm after it had snatched one of the farmer's goats. All right. So I'm, I'll, I'll ask around some of the people. I'm assuming there's probably people around this board. Uh, various sort of walking around sort of normal townspeople. Just if they could point us in the direction. Oh, yeah. They point off towards the east, uh, sort of uh, down a path that is opposite of the road, but kind of heads in the same direction. All right, well, me and Ruck Ruck skip that way. Are you are you, are you skipping? <laughs> I'm assuming Ruck Ruck is. Um, not necessarily skipping, but there's a uh, there's a happy step if you pay close attention. <laughs> Give a dexterity roll. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like I, a dog running to a kitchen after food. I've just got the image in my head of somebody in full plate trying to skip along. That full stuff plate is, is that heavy. heavy. <clears throat> Alright, well we're we're making our way there. Alright. Um, after about 30 minutes, you do happen to come upon a farm that's sort of nested inside the uh, forest. Um, looking around, you don't can't really tell what it's actually growing. It's some sort of root, root vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, actually, Raku, could you give me a nature check? Yeah. So do you might know. Um, I would definitely not know. Well, might be carrots or turnips. Not really right. sure. That's fair enough. I said. What's that effect uh, they have on you, Cobalt? In the combat tracker. Uh, protection against good and evil, right? Oh, right. Which I do not believe you have on you anymore. No, we did that when we were fighting the ghouls. Alright, so, um... The barn looks... Or this farm looks like trashed. No, it looks to be in fairly good shape. Uh, is there a barn house? Uh, yeah. Last it was seen... It was seen running away from this farm. Back, uh, back okay. In uh, I want to go to the barn house and uh, the knock on the door. All right. Uh, after a little while, you see a um, weathered man. He seems not a weather man, but a weathered man. Yeah. He arrives seemingly having been woken up. He looks around for a moment, then looks down. Oh, uh, can I help you, fellas? Hey, yes, we just saw this, uh posting there's a bounty on this troll uh is there any information you can give us as to uh where its last location was looks at the poster for a sec oh i remember he galloped off with one of my goats the other day right, Figured yeah, I ain't, ain't had nothing else to spend the money on so i might as well get that taken care of anyways it's uh he was leaving mighty big tracks, and I saw them going off into the woods. 
probably best idea to go check that out. It's uh, sort of over near the corner of my uh, rutabaga field. He points off in a direction. All right. Uh, sort of next to the forest. All right. I uh, take the parchment from him, and I nod and thank him, and I start heading the direction. I'm he already nods, ahead of you. He <laughs> nods to you, yawning, and heads back inside, closing the door. <clears throat> uh, how far ahead of you are me? Oh, not just a couple steps. Like, as soon as oh, he was okay, pointing, yeah. I was walking <laughs> that direction. I'm imagining you, like, running. Oh, not right. quite yet. <laughs> so... We're, we'll keep walking to the Rutabaga field until I can find some footprints. All right. After a little while, yeah, you do find some very large footprints. It's degraded a little bit since it's been, from what you can gather, about two or three days since this happened. Uh, but can still I use... very, very deep and very pronounced. Doesn't could seem I to have very hard. Uh, use investigation to follow them? Uh, that would be a survival. Survival, uh, which... okay. Which I think it's going to be better for you. Uh, it's not, but yeah. Is there uh, a certain... Oh, it's just just better by one, I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, use either investigation or survival, whichever's better. Yeah, uh, investigation's better by one. Huh. Uh, is... Rocco, can you say something? Um, I was about to say, is there a check I can make to find out what type of troll this is? Um, give the... me a nature check. Sure. Beautiful. Can't really tell Rock Rock. You know, all troll feet kind of look the same. Rock um, Rock knows it's a footprint. Yeah, definitely it's a footprint a, of a troll a, of some it's sort. It's a big footprint. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big footprint. It's like as big as you are. Raku, you, you can follow it for a good amount of time. Although... After a little while, it does sort of fade off into the mud. Uh, can you give me another check? Yeah, and I want to be looking for, like, broken branches and Absolutely. twigs and leaves on the ground. Yeah. Uh, this time, you you know kind of know what you're looking for, and you do manage to pick the trail back up again. And following it for about two hours... Uh, one sec. Uh, you, uh, uninterrupted, you eventually do find what looks to be a small cave. And, R Raku, you see that the tracks lead inside. Alright. So I I'm just going to point out the cave to Rock Rock in case somehow he didn't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I do a perception check around the cave? What are you looking for? Um, if any signs of that it's come and go, since it was only a couple days ago, that it just recently came or go, or is it still in there? Absolutely, go ahead. Can I help him? Yeah. So toss another so, yeah, one. Do it again. Do it again. Ruck, yeah. Rock, rock, throw another. Uh, getting a brief look around. So again, trying to remain somewhat hidden. You see that it's gone in and out of this place um, at least once a day, ish. And by counting, you know, the various orientations of the tracks, you think it's inside right now. I'm gonna pull my battle axe out and start making my way forward. Rock, rock, wait up! And I kind of like put my hand on his shoulder. I said, "I have a plan." I stop. Let me stealth in there. And if I see him, I'll cast message to let you know. But I want you to wait until I can get that first hit in to surprise him. I nod. All right. I will stealth. All right. Give me a stealth roll. Nice. And I start slowly making my way into the cave. Trying to hey, your personal hygiene standards have been like lately. Huh? What would you say your personal hygiene 
standards are at lately as you've been traveling? Uh, I've been casting Presence Digitation a lot. Oh, okay. Da-da. Well, would. good thing Rock Rock didn't go in for it first, then. <laughs> Proceeding in to the cave, you see that it starts to uh, narrow up a little bit, but still remaining quite large on the inside, sort of spiraling downwards, mm -hmm. until it comes to a rather large chamber. Large for you, of course. Um, and inside, you hear a faint steady breathing as looking around the corner as you pass it you see a troll most definitely a troll it's large um, it's beefy it has sort of a super greasy black hair um, sort of plastered to its head it's wearing a shoddily made loincloth you can see that there's quite a lot of remains scattered around this cave. All of them definitely do look animal. For a... As you're looking around, you see it sort of snort and wake up. It looks around, sort of looks at you for a moment, then... Continues looking around and seems to settle back down again. All right, what are you doing? Riku, if you're trying to say something, I can't hear it. Riku, my man. Eh, he's probably AFK. Anyways. For you guys back in... Can you hear me? City. Yes. That made no sense. My mic was freaking out. Huh. Okay, you anyway, everything I said, though? I, I did, and I was trying to talk to you, but my, yeah, my mic decided to mute itself. Because there's three different ways of muting it. Yeah, okay. So so do you still want to go back to the other group? Uh... Because I'm sure the next thing that's coming here is a battle, so... Yeah, yeah. We'll go back to them for a sec. Okay. So... For you guys in the hidden city, uh, as you guys watch, um, Eric's and uh, Shuluth just kind of sit in the chairs, uh, both of their eyes just sort of flicking underneath their uh, eyelids. Eric's, you don't know anything is going on. It seems that you've sort of fallen asleep briefly. Okay. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Well, I'd assume, after I had some tea, I'd go and tour the city of its facilities. Absolutely. Which place are you going to go to first? As I did sort of list off exactly what's here. Yes, you did. I, I assume you I... have something in mind. Not yet. I suppose I'll... What was it? The town hall, was it called? Uh, yes, the uh, Handiworks Guild. Handiworks Guild? Is there anyone inside right now? There is. Um, there is a, again, the small sort of various shops um, that are all connected to a central hallway via doors into rooms that seem bigger on the inside that than is possible with the architecture. Mm, Magic City, very nice. <laughs> is there a representative outside, or will I go inside the shops to meet someone? AK, is there one, anyone out and about? Uh, out and about, very, very occasionally. Uh, you will see one of the townspeople sort of uh, on their business, perhaps sort of browsing the various inventories of the shops. Um, one of them actually seems to be a very large crow. Ooh. 
was the species? I know this. It starts with a T, I Tenku. think. Tenku. Tenku, that's it. With a K. Sully, you really haven't... You've heard of these before, but you can't recall the name at the moment or any other specifics. Mm, I see. You know, evil, and they probably won't bite you right away. You know, I were practicing probably. My... You know, I've been practicing my bird songs. <laughs> <laughs> and the probably oh. has now turned to a definitely will. I approach him and ask for help with a new piece and pr pr produce my loot. Hmm. Was that an affirmation? Give me one moment. I need to read more into this. <laughs> what is that? Okay. It looks at you very confused for a moment. And then in what looks sounds to be human for a moment, then definitely an orc dialect. And finally, almost a, a mimicking of the Shuluth's voice. You hear it say, We do not do that anymore. Not for no payment. Sing, you mean? shakes his head for a moment no compose not even for its simple entertainment sake you can see it think for a moment sort of scratch its beak uh This is this is written really. Vaguely. You have to really read into it. Wow. Oh boy, maybe this wasn't a good choice. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's it's an excellent choice. It, it motions to you. I'm sort of done with its business for the day and heading out. It says, Come with the others. We may make music. I will follow him. Forget what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want my bird song. And who knows? Maybe I'll play a little better after this. <laughs> Back in the tomb, Eric, you seem to have blinked, like, really hard for a moment. I thought that wasn't so hard, was it? I'm gonna groan you? in anguish before giving him a big grin. It seems you've not learned at all. You try to bluff... When I know more about you than you do. But that's beside the point. Excellent work with this uh, artifact. Although it is sort of a shame that my, uh, my robes were not able to stand up to the punishment. Hmm, I suppose I'll create a better version. As you notice that he already has the, uh, the scorched robes in his hands right now. Well, yeah, we would have brought them back. But he kind of took them right from your bag of holding. I don't remember where they got put, but whatever. It works. <laughs> <laughs> we brought them for him, so... 
you also seem to have a vague knowledge of a spell of sorts. It, it seems to have almost been just left there for you to discover. But you know of a way to trap a sentient being's mind for about a full day into a diamond. What? And as you watch a a small platter sort of scuttles along the floor with the small like, uh, plopping noises. He places the uh, the robes on the tray and it just sort of goes off into the uh, depths of his tomb. Was there anything else you needed while you were here? From me, at least. I just wanted, uh, first off, to get your opinion about the how we sealed it away. Do you think that would be sufficient, or...? Oh, yes, yes, yes. In my opinion, that was definitely the best thing you could have done, aside from removing this artifact from this realm of existence, which I don't believe you're able to do very easily. Cobalt, don't you have that ring? A uh, mind shield ring? Yes. We could have sent you in and had you just grab it and teleport to another plane. Actually, not even that. Dang it. Cobalt, sorry? I just thought of what we could have done instead. What is it? Just like you could have went in with the robes, used blink after grabbing it, and taken it to the ethereal plane. Yes. Because anything on the ethereal plane can't uh, impact the material one. We still could. I can go through walls with blink. Yes, but you can't actually interact with those walls. If you cast a spell while on the ethereal plane, it can't impact anything on the material plane. You're right. We should go back and I'm do this. Can we borrow those robes again? Uh, no. Perhaps better robes when he gets them? Wait, I don't think Cobalt's actually here. I think he went off exploring. As far as I was aware, you stayed with us. Or with me. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've asked. Sorry, I, I did assume that. Apologies. That's fine. I can stay here. Alright. So you're asking for a new robe. One that we could do exactly what I was just saying. We could have taken it to the ethereal plane instead. Well, it's certainly worth experimentation, but simply do not have another robe. Hmm. You're free to try without it. I'm somewhat curious of the side effects of this, um, this energy. And I am quite intrigued by this, uh, Guardian of the Forest. He seems to be quite a, uh, Enig enigmatic individual. Perhaps I'll visit with him sometime as he starts talking to himself out loud. Uh, uh, did you need anything? Um, no, I think that was it. Well, please enjoy your stay. And, uh, I will be busy for the, uh, the for a little while, so uh, please don't interrupt my work. Alright. Thank you very much for your help. He, he nods and seems to go back into whatever things he was studying. Sully! Me! You are brought 
to what looks to be some sort of old sanitarium. Uh, like an insane asylum. It's a rather small building. Uh, but as you're brought in, you see that it is inhabited by two other crow-like beings. And you hear this sort of faint, almost discordant music playing. Ooh. Although it has its own sort of um, harmony to it. Interesting. I'd like to learn how to play along with this. Alright. It seems that the music itself is coming from a contraption of some sort, which appears to make sounds based on what is written on a piece of parchment that's been inserted. The parchment itself Oh my god, it is. Looks an awful lot like sheet music. I look with great interest. And no, it would be. Anything that produces music like this. Very interesting. It seems a bit... Rough. Sim no, simple for what you know sheet music ought to look like. Instead of the lots of lines and various dots over the lines, it's just lines. Interesting. Um, all of them parallel, all of them pretty much the same. But the music coming out is definitely music it doesn't make sense to you um cobalt and actually let's go back to rock rock and raku what are you guys doing <clears throat> so i've got this thing in my sights and it doesn't know that i'm here it doesn't seem to know that you're there now and I am debating on whether or not I could whisper message the verbal component to message quiet enough to let Rock Rock know that it's here. You could certainly try. But the when I smelt him before I entered the cave, I knew that wasn't he probably shouldn't help me with the sneaking, so I'm gonna help I'm gonna hope. Once he hears the shrieking of this thing getting hit, he'll rush in. One can assume. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... So, I'm still sneaking, and I'm... Is there, like, a rock or something that I can hide behind? Yeah. There seems to be plenty of rocks inside. Alright. I want to stick to the shadows as much as I could, and I want to get a good sight... On this thing. It is laying down, so you automatically crit it. Oh, I do. Yeah, it is remaining completely still. Alright, so, then I'm then I'm gonna use my sharp shoot, sharpshooter feet too. Alright. Alright. Attack. And it still will need to be a roll. Uh, will it? Uh I mean I can. Combining like three different crit options here. But yeah, it's going to hit and crit. Alright, and... Well, since it was surprised, it'd be a crit anyways. Yeah. And since I use sharpshooter, it's going to be add 10. But I need to first stack up everything. There's that. And there's that. And then... So, 2037. Oh, wait, no, it's. What's. Wh are, uh, do we need to pull a crit card or. I believe so. Oh, yeah. Crit I card. Guess this is a crit. <laughs> crit card. Uh. Also, Raku 
Rock, rock, uh, roll initiative, please. Okay. <clears throat> uh, piercing damage? Yes. Yes. In the knee, maximum damage. Maximum damage? Nice. Okay. So... Might have killed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to be... Um... Let me get a calculator out for this. <laughs> six plus six, so twelve. Yeah, let's see. Twelve plus twenty-four, so. which is going to be thirty-six. So thirty-six damage. That's pretty good. Uh, plus ten, so forty. Plus ten. Forty-six. Forty-six. Yes. Yeah, you heard. Oh no, that's on rock rock. Sorry. Uh, I was about to say, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I've had worse, but <laughs> I don't want to be going into fighting a troll with half with that damage on me. <laughs> 46 damage. I'm brave, roll? not that. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, I am here. Huzzah. Um... Initiative. Beautiful. All right. Rock, rock. You hear the pained and surprised screech of something deep inside the cave. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use a bonus action to hide. We'll come to that on your turn. <laughs> oh, is it still not that? I said oh, we'll I'm... come to that on your turn. I'm okay. Hauling as fast as my two little scaly legs can take me into the 60. cave. Which leaves another 60 feet until you get inside. Alright. I mean, he can dash. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You could action surge and nearly get there. No, I have a feeling that we may need that. <laughs> Cool. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't have seen me before because it was asleep anyways. Or see it what direction anyways. Probably not. Alright. Now that it is alert, though, I am... Hmm... Oh, yeah, and it still hasn't taken an action in combat. Alright, I'm still gonna... Assassinate it again. Alright. Which gives me advantage, since I don't get pack tactics yet. Seven. <laughs> that is not going to hit. Okay, well, I'm going to hide my ass. And you can roll on the combat tracker. Oh, is it in the combat tracker? Okay. Yes. I didn't see it there. Alright, let's see. Actually, what's in here? Bonus action. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a bonus action to hide. Alright. Uh, give me a stealth check. I can do that. Alright. It is now the troll's turn. It is going to fervently search for whatever hit it. It does not seem to see you as it um, clomps around its nest very chaotically. How much does it heal per round? You don't know. Give me a nature check. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's do a nature check. That's a good zero. Oh. You know that their regenerative abilities are top notch. But okay, you do well. know that fire and acid are very, very bad for them. That's all that you really know regarding that. Rock, rock, your turn. All right, I'm gonna keep running. You find yourself in a twisting passage and 
almost going like a train down it. You eventually emerge into a large cavernous area. The smell of, um, the faint smell of rotting meat and sweat. You turn to the side and see a troll, large arrow sticking out of it, is now staring directly at you, breathing heavily with its claws sort of bared. Oh, I'm gonna roar at it. Give me an intimidation check. I just want to see. In the tower? Uh, yeah. Alright. It seems a little bit intimidated. Strangely enough. Uh, how far away is uh, Rock Rock from this thing? Definitely further than five feet. It's about okay. 10 feet from Rock Rock, about 20 feet from Rock. As Raku, you've kind of gone into its lair a bit and found a nice place to hide. Rock Rod is right at the doorway. All right, I am just going to do a uh, a normal attack. Boring. All right, roll to attack. That is going to miss as it seems to embed itself into a large fat deposit on its side, not All even right. drawing blood. Okay, well then I'm going to hide again. That's stealth check. All right. It's now the troll's turn. It sees you, Rock Rock. And it quickly advances towards you and begins to attack you with its claw mostly right now awesome it gets to attack twice one of which is going to be a critical hit oh, oh my goodness uh, that All is right. slashing damage Eric's Return of the Scar. Do what? It, is it? I don't know. I hope so. I hope so, too. What do you mean? I miss my Scar. Oh, that. <laughs> so, slashing, you said? Yes. Open wound. For the next 1d8 rounds, you must make a DC 16 constitution saving throw when attempting to move 5 feet or more. On a failed save, you take 1d8 damage. This is a life-threatening one, for the record. What was that effect? For the he takes next... damage if he moves. For the next 1d8 rounds, you must make a DC 16 constitution saving throw when attempting to move 5 feet or more. On a failed save, you take 1d8 damage. DC what? 16. Oh, jeez. The slashing one on this card wasn't very bad, but the magic one. Big boom. Quadruple damage, and if this attack deals force or thunder damage, you are knocked 1d8 times 5 feet, and taking 1d6 bludgeoning damage for each 5 feet traveled. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so glad I get hit with some magic on that one. Oh, I want Eldritch Blast. Wait, do it I still? Not... Yeah. How far it... am I away from this thing? Uh, it's right there. So I can just attack it. <clears throat> Which I'm gonna pull out my trusty battle axe and hits. All right. 
Got to attack again. That is not going to miss. Or that is not going to hit. That is not going to miss. <laughs> All right. Um. Can I do action surge? Absolutely. So I get to attack what, one more you get time. Two attacks. Oh, two more times. Action search gives you an action. Oh, beautiful. Let's attack again. Hit. Ooh. Oh, so close. So apparently there's a power outage somewhere on campus. So if I just drop out, uh, yeah, kind of attribute it to that. Why are you living in the dorm? It's not in a dorm, it's an apartment. On campus? Yeah. If you drop out, we will be very disappointed. <laughs> you I don't have any control feel, over that. You will feel our disappointment forever. <laughs> As Rock Rock, you hew at this <laughs> troll. You is the right word, right? That's a word for it. Anyways, you swing your battle axe, and by golly, you hit it. But you notice that the wounds that you're inflicting are closing up, but not fast enough. I'm scowling. Raku? All right. Time to kick this back into gear. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. <sighs> it is going to miss. Jeez. Bonus action. Crossbow? Yeah. That is going to hit. Can I sneak attack that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, something. Pretty good. All right. Apparently, the dining hall does not have power. That is very bad. How far away is this troll from me? Uh, about 25 feet now. Uh, I'm gonna get five feet from it on the other side, and right. I'm gonna pull out my bread. <laughs> You do so, you are not stealth any longer. I know. It is now the troll's turn. It is going to roar. And it is going to attempt to grab you. Me? Uh, rock. Oh. It, that's a nat one. No. <laughs> It was a melee attack. Footsie, your wild the your wild swing causes your weapon to strike you in the foot, dealing maximum damage. If the weapon you're wielding deals bludgeoning damage, your speed is also reduced by ten feet. So he claws himself in the foot. That's sixteen damage. Um, <laughs> actually. Uh, it's a natural attack, right? Yeah. Okay, that is actually different. Uh, wide open. All creatures within five feet of you may make an attack of opportunity against you. Alright, that includes... Actually, that's just you, Rock Rock. No, you I move there too. Oh, I didn't you move... Oh, I thought you said you moved five feet closer. No, I said I moved five feet from him. Alright. Yeah, I got up to him. Has anyone played Persona? Because yeah. this reminds me of like an all-out attack situation. <laughs> that is going to hit. Roll damage. Yeah. Alright. You feel as though you're doing a very good job with all this. Alright, let's see. Where's my bread reap here? I need to make my attack of opportunity. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. That's fine.
That's gonna hit. Roll damage. All right. And I believe that also gets sneak attack. Or does an attack of opportunity not? I do not believe so. Okay. I believe it only happens once per turn. And... Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I don't think attack of opportunity actually works for that. Anyways, okay. rock rock. That is not going to hit. Uh, you have uh, advantage now. Pack tactics, my boy. Oh yeah, okay. So That's why I jumped roll. up there. There That's you go. Good. Awesome. All right, your first attack hits. Very nice. Oh, so close. That's going to hit. <laughs> uh, you swing and swing your sword or your battle axe, you're carving off quite large pieces of troll. The cuts are sewing together, or they're mending just fast enough. Mm. Riku. It is barely standing, though very, very able to smack you. You said it's barely standing? Yeah. Alright. Uh... Let's go with the uh, Rye Rapier. <laughs> that is going to hit. How do you want to do this? Um, I want to... <laughs> I want to get my bread and... Uh shove it through its back from behind and whisper it into its ear I am the muffin man <laughs> can I you just do so. remotely no, smack him <laughs> what? what Dova? give me an arcana check Eryx and it doesn't seem to understand you, but it dies nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really know how to smack someone through the immaterium. Oh. Especially at this distance. And really don't know that you were lighted to begin with, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like that one, Rock Rock. <laughs> oh, I love that one. <laughs> Ray, I'm going to smack you when I see you next. <laughs> Luckily, you live close enough for me to do so. Do you really want to smack me? Yes. For that? That was fantastic. <laughs> that, that gets Rock Rock seal of approval. <laughs> I, I have Rock Rock inspiration. <laughs> No. Uh, so once what that thing goes, <laughs> us? Yeah. I'm gonna high five Rock Rock. I'm gonna give him the high five right back. <laughs> Take one d six damage as you are bleeding from a very very large cut. He didn't move yeah. five feet though. That still needs to get solved. And it's one d eight damage. That's oh, yeah. I rolled the one. That's worth it. <laughs> You take six points of damage from the copious amounts of blood flowing out. <sighs> okay. Um, can I do um, can I do a medicine check on it to stabilize it? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that did anything. It did not. <laughs> medicine. Yeah, you know enough to grab a spare bandage from your pack and just sort of tie it tight to stop the bleeding. Alright, cool. That'll fix it. Alright, and so I <laughs> I look to Rock Rock and say, would you like the honors? And I point to his neck. Because we need the head. just grin and um, <laughs> I, I, take a, I take a step back. <laughs> I raise eye style and 
Bring it down. <laughs> strength. Uh, athletics check. Uh, sure. In the tower, or... Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't really matter. Alright. Uh, with a single swing, you get about halfway through, and you bring it up again, above your head again, and smack it down. You see a brief bit of sparks as it hits the stone behind it, or the stone floor. So the head is now definitely separate. It sort of very slightly rolls to one side. As the blank, uh, dead face of a troll stares up at you. I'm gonna take a tooth. Uh, Wait, I, I, I stop him before. It's just like we need to give this to a person. Probably shouldn't deface it. I'm sure he's already missing some teeth. One more wouldn't hurt. Eric's. Okay. Watch you drink your tea. <laughs> I'm not in his place anymore. All right, I just kinda... where were you going? I don't know. He just kicked us out. All right. As uh, you guys figure out what to do with the remains, we'll briefly uh, 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 jump back over. Sorry, you're about to say something. Oh, I was gonna say I'm just looking at the head, looking at Raku, looking at the head, just kind of looks sad. I he wanted. wanted... To... Go as, ahead. As, as a last thing, I wanted to like check, like look for items and shiny shit and whatever in the troll's den. Really, nothing. You find some kind of polished metal, but that's about it. The metal seems to be a steel or iron. I will take it. All right. Add piece of shiny metal to your inventory. We have to lop the toes off too, right? Alright, I'll, I'll start working on the toes, if you want to. Oh, yeah, thank you for remembering that. <laughs> okay, so. Mm. Sully, you spend a good amount of time with the uh, crows inside the insane asylum, sort of observing their process. They don't seem to talk much. Um, and most of their time, they seem to be writing down these lines. Uh, one at a time with a fairly ornate quill. Uh, the quill itself, like the end of it, does not look like to be a metal tip, but instead looks to be almost a still writhing tentacle of some sort. Ooh. As they get done with one line, they go back to the top of the page and write the other. They seem to be sort of bobbing their heads in rhythm as they draw this single line. Am I learning anything by watching them? You don't have a goddamn clue. This is so far beyond what you've known about writing music. Yeah, you don't know anything about this. As they finish sort of filling an entire piece of paper or a piece of parchment with parallel lines. Sometimes they vary a bit in thickness, but otherwise they're almost perfectly uniform. They excitedly place the parchment inside the device. And after a moment, some faint music starts to sort of spill out of the, uh, the large horn that it has on the top. And this one is a lot different than the one that you're hearing on the way in. It's... It's fairly mellow, um, much more natural sounding, um, perhaps some bits of harp, um, uh, some flutes, some clarinets, and even a faint drum somewhere in the background. It's a fairly nice piece. Cobalt and Erex, what are you guys doing? I'm going to head for the uh, magic market place okay grab the inventory where is it I don't know you're the criminal mastermind here not me shish 
you head to the where you remember the market to be in a home or in a building called the uh, Handworks Guild. Of course, you open the door into a space that's much larger on the inside than on the outside. Now, the shelves are lined with various trinkets, um, you know, staffs, arrows, stuff like that. And at the counter is a rel relatively average looking human man. As you enter, he looks at you and he says, uh, What can I get you today? I just want to browse. Very well. Will you be paying in gold or terrible sacrifices? Tell me more about the sacrifice option. Uh oh. Well, um, well, first it's more of a it's more of a lease, which I gain use of your soul for a little while, and then you can have these items. And for a little while, I mean like. Only maybe 50 or 60 years. Uh, we'll be talking gold then. What most people say. <laughs> Jeez! What? Souls were something. Cobalt, what you doing? Are you back from your bathroom? Yeah, I've been back. I said back. Oh, sorry. So... I want to look at their stabs and staves in particular. All right. Are any of them my size, or all the, or are they all so much bigger than me? They're all quite large. Although there is a staff that's more your size. It's more of a large wand for a human. Mm -hmm. And there, there are plaques underneath most items here, sort of like um, price tags. And this one is labeled as a wand of secrets. Mm -hmm. some, a short description says that when used, any secret doors or traps that are unknown to the users will be pointed out by the wand. Does it have a price tag? Uh, yes. Uh, 750 gold, as listed. Co-op looks down at his coin purse containing five gold pieces. Hmm... Oh, well, it's nice to it's nice to look, but I don't have anything. I don't have any money. Ah, if if you don't have any gold, I do have an alternative option for payment. Oh, I was speaking to Eric's. I I heard about your pay the alternative option. I don't know Very if well. you I don't know how much you want a cobalt body though. Oh, it's not the body; it's the soul. Soul. Oh, quite different. I don't know how much you want a cobalt soul. Anyway. What are you looking for? Anything, Eric? Uh, what can we get for a hundred gold? He sort of raises his eyebrows for a moment and he thinks very, very hard. <laughs> Give me a. What you guys doing with the um, the body? As I look through this list. Um, after butchering it for what we need. Um, probably take the pelt. Yeah, the pelt. Um, Troll fat. Does it have... It, you said it has claws, right? Uh, yes. I'm gonna take the claws. Sort of like yeah. mutated fingernails. That's fine. Yeah, I'll right. take the I'll take the pelt. Uh, give me a survival check for everything that isn't the toes and the head. So, just one for both of you. Okay. <laughs> There's one for rock rocks. There's one for Raku. Rock, Rock, you were getting the pelt, right? No, I was I getting get... the pelt. Could I, could I have assisted him after I did the pelt? Yeah. And Raku, or uh, sorry, Rock, Rock, you sort of muck up two of the fingers before uh, Raku finishes up with uh, harvesting the pelt and the fat. And this is sort of de delicate work, so Raku kind of takes over, and you manage to get four of the claws intact. The other three, uh, no, the other, the other f five are either broken or sort of rotted away. And you also get the pelt, although it's more of a skin, with a 
good amount of fat still stuck to it. All right. I'll put that in my bag of holding. All right. You barely fit that all in there. It's yeah, quite bulky. Yeah, I was about it to seems... say that. Probably pushes it to the max, but it's empty anyway, so. Yeah. Okay, so. After a while, the shopkeeper, who you know is called Steve. That's his name. He finally looks up and says, A few things. Not many. It's... It, uh, 100 gold is a bit low for most of my things. I have a... Uh... Well, I have this sort of novelty goldfish. And he reaches under the table. He pulls out a perfectly spherical glass orb with a goldfish swimming around on the inside. Uh, he again digs under the counter. Not actually looking at where he's digging. He brings out a large ceramic pot. Reaches under again. He receives a, a hunting horn. It looks to be sort of blue with some uh, white veins of crystal. A pack of... Uh, it looks like a small sort of pouch with a picture of a bird on it. And what do these do? A jar of bees. Oh, God. A sealed glass box with a small brick of cheese inside. A small basket of gold pieces. And a book. And a few charts. Ooh. Rolled up in a scroll. There's another thing of bees. These bees Are don't the... seem as angry. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> still so... very angry. So they're normal bees, just not in a jar of perpetual anger. Possibly. <laughs> These are indignant bees. <laughs> the goldfish... Be... Uh, this goldfish will stay alive for forever. Mostly forever, I, th I think. I've never had one die before. And I've never really had the glass ball break, either. Uh, this pot will make... A decently hearty meal out of whatever you put in it, as long as you can eat it beforehand. Uh, he scratches his head, he looks over the various things on the table. Uh, the horn will blow out quite a large bit of cloud. Sort of very foggy. Uh, this is... And he picks up the small pack it's uh, some sort it's like food but you don't eat it you just sort of chew it and it's very rubbery uh, it has a nice sort of minty flavor but you're able to speak in the voice of another person for about an hour or so and i think and he looks and he counts it there's 10 pieces left in this one uh the bees Fairly self-explanatory. Uh, the box, he looks into the sealed box. Ah, this cheese is hauntingly smelly. Uh, very cheap, I don't want it in my store. But I won't give it to you either, so. Use it for what you will. He looks at the basket full of gold pieces. Uh, these are gold pieces with my face on them. <laughs> and this book is... Wait, it's really? Faint of heart. <laughs> what? The beaches? Your, your face on them? Yes. What are they good for? Well, they're worth one gold piece. They just have my face on them. So are you gonna they do give wonders them to for me? advertising. What were you saying? We could definitely use them to advertise for you. Yes, uh, one gold piece per. 
I'm not gonna pay you to advertise for you. That's not how this works. Yeah. Thank okay, God. then you don't want the gold. Now about the book. Anyways, the book is not for the faint of heart. It is. It's uh well, it's an acquired taste. Uh, and these charts are fairly accurate. Accurate as in I've had customers navigate with them through various planes and such. You would not believe how much it costs to make these. Uh, planes? Like planes of existence or? Of existence, yes. Not just this one, of course. How much are those? Uh, 15 for each. Wow. And, uh, now, oh, wait, was there another one? I feel like the charts is the last one. I believe so. Give me a moment. Uh, yes, uh, three more, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, three more charts. I thought you meant... No, no not like, three, um... more, uh, three more things. Oh, well then continue, please, before I start buying. Uh, there is a thick blue ring. Uh, this is a, a musical instrument, actually. It's rather small, but, you know... It takes some skill, but I believe the size makes up for it. Uh, there's a ring with a single sharp spike. It's fairly good for fist fighting, as I'm sure you may tell, and the spike on it actually is very difficult to dull or chip. Additionally, it, I've had some people apply poisons to it. And finally... There's an ivory wand with uh, three spirals running up its length. Uh, it's sort of a combination of the, the few fundamental cantrips of the respective magic schools, as it were. Uh, I believe the green one is uh, prestigitation. The purple one is thaumaturgy. No, 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 no. The green one is druidcraft. The purple one is prestigitation, and I believe the gold one is thaumaturgy. Mm. And it sort of just works. Cobalt's gonna pick up the book and look at the cover. It is called... Where is it? I've already gone through it. Why are you asking us where it is? Because I thought you might know. It is it's called Ailtas Shivered. Can I glean any information from the outside of the book? Not really. You've never really heard of this book, so you don't know what it's about. It looks rather... I don't know. What did he it's very say average about for the... a book. What did he say about the book, aside from it's not for the faint of heart? Nothing. You'd better share this with me. <laughs> well, it's um, it's rather dry, but that's about it. Hmm. And how much is this? Uh, twenty gold. Eh, my curiosity is piqued. I will hand him the twenty gold. All right, take away twenty gold. Can we also get a map? What were these maps again? They they mapped other pla uh, this dimension as well or this plane of existence as well as other ones. Uh, mostly, the other planes. Oh well, mostly the other planes. All right. And what would we use them for? Do they magically update to where we are at the moment? Um, uh, these are for various destinations that my uh, cosmographers have visited. Uh, this one is for Pandemonium. So we have... Uh, this one's actually for the... Shadow Realm. Whatever that is. <laughs> is there yeah. anything in... Is there any plane in particular that you're in... <laughs> is there any plane in particular that you're interested in? 
Okay, so real quick, Dova. Yeah. Since we were in a magic shop, I actually thought these were maps that, like, mapped out whatever area you're on. Like, it'll be a map for this world if we're on this plane, but if we go to a different plane of existence, it'll be a map for that place. And that's why I was surprised it was 15 gold. Because this is clearly not what it is. Well, if... I am getting the sense that you're interested in something else. I do have... A self, or a uh, an automatic cartographer, if you're interested in that. How much? Uh, that one is going to be two hundred gold. It auto it it basically sees around you and is able to uh, chart out whatever terrain you're in. Uh, Cole is gonna pull Eric aside. And say, hey, I still have this. I'm going to pull out the little pearl. I forget what it was valued for, though. We do have ten platinum pieces with Shrek. And I generally... I mean, this that gold, I keep it on Shrek, on the character sheet, but it is actually with me. Just for right, the well. record, so it's just I feel party like this, gold. <laughs> I feel like this map would be great, and because Cobalt is kind of the interdimensional traveler here, and the automatic compass, I think it'd be pretty great for him to hold. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna spend all my money here as well, as well once I'm not <laughs> hanging out with these tank. But that might be a while, because uh, he is super interested in this. <laughs> that ring might be interested, interesting to you. And what does that ring do again? It is a musical instrument. It's a rather large blue ring. You want to yeah. know what it's called? Sure. It's called an Akaringa. Oh my god, no! <laughs> ah! thing it's it's a play on words with the word ocarina mm -hmm. oh. which is a wind musical instrument made yeah. of ceramic or glass i'm familiar with the uh, ocarina <laughs> yeah i thought he said octoring and i was like okay so we're gonna grow tentacles yeah, maybe maybe Sully could buy this. We'll let him buy it if he comes. I so I got a hundred. I got a hundred for my pearl, and you got the things. I will take the pearl over and be like, and for that auto cartographer, uh, how much would you take this for it? Uh, there need uh, item description for the pearl. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would like to know if I had anything written down for that. It says subtype gemstones and in parentheses 100 GP. Okay. And also says cost 100 GP. Oh, also, I was keeping it in my uh, polishing purse. It was very shiny. So it was very, very shiny, yes. He looks at it, he says... I think 50 more gold pieces after this and we're good. Deal. I take away 30, correction, 50 gold pieces and the pearl. And you now have an auto tar cartographer. I will give him Sweet. five platinum. <laughs> uh, the cartographer itself is a very, very sturdy map. Sort of rolled up. You know the map of, like, the... um. That, like, map of secrets thing from Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes. It's basically that. Okay, cool. I forget what it's called. Is it the... It's the Tom Tom of the fantasy world. It's... And whatever the map is, yes. I'm almost going to study the map now and enjoy the new thing that they got. It actually shows you a small drawing of the 
town you're in right now. And actually, I have a map for that. I already pulled it up. Yeah. It's map underscore hen city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I believe all of this is correct. So I may unmask the labels as well. That is some serious lag to unblock that. <laughs> all right, cool. Does Shrek have any money left, Eric? He does. I don't know what else you want to buy. Because, I mean, you know, the magic item shop is usually the epitome of shopping when it comes to D&D. Yes. Doesn't mean we have the money for it. I think we need to no, no, I mean, and uh, earn some regroup. money. Okay. Man, I can't wait to find no gold treasure chest as we explore. I'm just kidding. I think we got a good amount of money last time. Actually, as you're standing there, you hear a small bell ring. And Steve goes, looks back, he actually opens like a, a small trap door uh, above a sorting table. And a few just pieces of, you know, jewelry and actually a large helmet fall down onto it with a large clatter. Uh, all with uh, various tags attached. Looks through them and actually brings two more things uh, over to the table. I believe these actually fit sort of inside your price range. This one is... It's named the Ring of Intangible Convenience for 175, and this one is the Phantom Cube Ring. Ah. Oh no, this one's far out of your price range. Goes back. He retrieves as something else. Uh, this one's called the Stone of the Neophyte. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but it says. Uh, Oh, it makes some coins look like platinum pieces. <laughs> I don't know if a shopkeeper would be selling us this item. And actually, as you as he reads that, he says, I believe I'll keep this to myself. I don't want to <laughs> be in the wrong hands. <laughs> this could be used for evil, and I must protect it. How, how much for that? Well... This was labeled to be from... Da, 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 so I would definitely put it at 500 gold pieces, but I'm not going to sell this to you. You know. I see. Various things. Well, how am I... What is this uh, ring? So the only thing out of that stuff that is in uh, our price range is the ring. Is yes, the ring of intangible convenience. It looks to be able to. Ah, it, it it just constantly holds active a spell of unseen servant. Interesting. Uh, One hundred and seventy-five gold pieces. It's not that amazing, but it's pretty okay. Yeah. We'll pass, thanks. Um, well, I'm gonna head... I, I think I'm done in this city. Wait. Didn't, uh, Cthulhu say that... Or Shuluth say that we were gonna get... an award for coming and sharing that knowledge? Uh... He did, and you now have the knowledge to trap a sentient's mind in a piece of diamond. Oh. For about oh. four hours. So, in fact, I'll write that down. Actually, write that down on your character sheet. Ah. Uh, you have the knowledge to do so. Which does include a lengthy ritual, and it requires that the 
victim, as it were, be unconscious or asleep. Okay, and what does it... I mean, what kind of benefit do we get from this? Well, you would have their mind trapped in a piece of diamond. What about the body? What happens with that? It ages as it normally would. Do we get and to it order it around? Completely... Uh, no. It would be completely incapacitated. Can we talk to the person in the diamond? Likely, yes. Uh, is the diamond consumed, or would we be able to use it on uh, another person instead? It's likely that the diamond would not be consumed. Any particular value that the diamond needs to be? Uh, about 500 gold. Of choice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, on the bright... Sorry. On the bright side, it won't be consumed. Yeah. But where are we going to get the 500... Ahem. Someone come find me. <laughs> How much gold do you have? Just oh, cast let's... message, Sully. Well, I don't even know, but... Oh, hold on. I only have 436. Only. Yeah, I know, right? <clears throat> I mean, Ruck, Ruck, Ruck and I are doing uh, the best thing here. That's why I stayed behind, because I needed money. For and my plans that I'm working on. Hey, he suggested we were going to kill stuff. I was all for that. Yeah. Anyway, you guys have you know, finished harvesting everything you need and everything you want from the troll. <clears throat> I would have stayed out there and played to earn more money, but I'm super curious about this place. And honestly, if this party fails, I'm living in this city. <laughs> However, why don't we barter? Why don't we try and sell the scale to Shuluth? Our scale? Yeah, that strange magic scale. Why would we do that? No. Well, we don't really want to mess with it much more, do we? Well, that does. You have to. If you have an idea of what you want to use it for, it can be really helpful. What's this we we're talking about? Yeah, too. This is you. Very well. I mean, it would be quite useful to have later on. So, the two who are monster hunting. Mm hmm. What are you doing now? Are you heading back to the city? <clears throat> so, we. So, that steel plate was the only thing that was in here? Yeah. All right, yeah, so we have all the stuff. We're going to go back to that farmer all with right. the, yeah, with the head and the toes. As the head is about the size of you, Rock Rock, I assume you'd be the one to carry it. Yeah. And then I have uh, everything else in my bag of colding. Yep, so, you so managed that's to fit pretty much everything in there. Two pounds, yeah. And they do have eight toes instead of ten. Yeah. All right, you arrive back at the farmhouse. It is definitely later at night now. It's maybe about 10 o'clock, perhaps 10.30. Knocking on the door, there's a, quite a long while while nothing happens, but you eventually hear someone coming down the front steps. Door opens, and inside is, inside is cautiously, cautiously standing the, uh, the farmer you saw before, but he comes forward after he sees it's you. Well, B, you finished that up real quick, didn't you? Yep, got that yep. troll all taken care of for you. No. Here, let me uh go inside and get your payment. Got it locked up, you know. All right. He goes back inside, closes the door. After about five minutes or so, the guy returns back. Give me one moment.
Sorry, roommate got home. And I keep forgetting to close my door. He returns after a little while, opens the door, and he drops a, a coin pouch filled with a decent amount of coin, but a lot lighter than what you expect 500 gold to feel like. I'm gonna pick it up and kind of juggle it a bit. This isn't 500 gold. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna just kind of look through it a bit just yeah. to like get an idea. Platinum pieces. Oh, platinum pieces? Yeah. Uh, do I do I count the right amount? 500-ish gold worth. I drop my mouth a bit, I look at him, and I say, I apologize to you, good sir. Here are your trophies. He nods. He kind of gathers them all up. Actually, he kind of pushes them all together for a moment, then just kind of looks at him, shakes his head, goes back inside, gets some gloves and a leather bag, and puts them all in and brings them inside. Before he does. I, I, yeah, I, st I stop him, and I say, uh, would you like the uh, the skin from it? I sure wouldn't mind. Or, oh, well, I, I mean, like, uh, I, I'm trying to barter it to him. It's just like, would you be interested in this as well? Persuasion roll. <clears throat> Fuck. Doesn't seem that interested in actually buying the skin. I, wanna... I mean, he'll he'll gladly accept it if you give it to him. Uh, I'm not doing that. All right. I'll, I want to walk up to the head, point to the tooth, point to me, point to the tooth, point to me with very pleading eyes. We can't have the head. I need the head. I shake my head and it says, uh, in common, tooth. Oh, uh, but yeah, take one of the front ones. Not one of the canines. I need those. I gladly do. Reach inside, just kind of tear out one of the front teeth. Mark it down in your in your inventory of teeth. Oh, you bet I am. Troll tooth. Yep, I got a whole list. <clears throat> well, kinda. If you will. Beautiful. I look happy. So, what is that, 50 gold pieces? Or platinum? Yes. Uh, I'll give Rock Rock 25. Rock Rock, to your mind, that's about half. Okay. Is it 25? Sorry. Okay. Ahem! <clears throat> you two forgot the party tax. Ahem! <clears throat> You, you forgot the party wasn't involved in all of this. This <laughs> is a side quest. You bringing me back a magic item? I'm bringing back one for the party. Okay, well, I'm bringing myself some 25 platinum pieces. Alright, so what are you all doing inside the hidden city? I'm going to just head back to the door and wait for... The others. Kind of figured right. we would have said that we'd meet back when we're done. Fair enough. We're doing. So the, you're getting the idea that you should probably start regrouping soonish. So, so in the end, I just hung out with about three Tenku, learned of their machine, but didn't learn anything. Yeah. It was a pretty <laughs> sort of profound experience, though. I'm sure you probably have, like, some notes in your head that you never had before that you can play with. C curses. I forgot to play with them. I was so mesmerized. <laughs> you do have an idea that they're, the way that they're writing, or perhaps the writing instrument, is the, um, is the reason that it works. Interesting. I shall be back at some other point. Thank you for letting me observe you. They enthusiastically nod and 
continue about with their business instead of actually getting ready for bed as it's fairly late in this city. Speaking it's almost of, morning for you guys, and you guys have spent an all-nighter just doing stuff, and you guys are absolutely bushed. I return to the group, and this almost seemed a little out of it. Yeah, has anyone else forgotten how rich Sully actually is? Oh no, I but... remember very well. <laughs> Nobody I mean, he's the only one that has a profession, and so, That's like, true. I spent the past few days looking through the player's handbook just at freaking everything, and I'm like, I need to think of something, a way to actually, like, make money. So, bounty hunting doesn't seem too bad. If I could do, like, smaller ones in my downtime. <clears throat> yeah, bounty hunting does seem like a pretty good idea. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking of doing that when we get back. Are, you, are, you, are any of you going to tell me about the encounter with Chuluth? Or the items that maybe I should dump money at? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll relay what, happened, what we did and stuff. Me and Rock Rock will go back to the board and see what else is out there. Yeah, I on the way back, <laughs> I would have said to you more. Yeah. Um, Can I try that Okoringa? Can I try we didn't, we never bought it. it. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Are we back already? I was asking Shuluth. <laughs> well, Shuluth doesn't have it. It's at the magic shop. Oh, I'm right. sure, Yeah, I'm sure you mean the proprietor of the magic shop. Steve's sorry, mag yeah. I'm sorry, Jeremy's magic shop. Jeremy. Steve, Steve is his brother. They're competing. His brother, yeah. <laughs> They're, they resemble each other, I guess. Competing somehow. <laughs> so, anyways. Yes. Anyways. I'm assuming you guys will head back through into the normal world, as it Might were. Might as well. I can just try it next time. I can just. Hmm. You step back through into the tavern. Seems as a few hours have passed. And Rock Rock and Raku, you're looking at the board, but you're not seeing anything nearly as um, as well paying as the contract you just went on. Of course, there's the mandatory rats in the basement problem, offering like 10 gold pieces as a reward. Mm. Yum. Yeah. <clears throat> sure, they and, can handle it. Yeah, and most of the most of the contracts up at the moment have that same sort of margin on them, in regards to work. So the troll was the most. It's yes, it was the highest paying one up at the moment. There isn't a widow putting up her husband's magical item to find her killer, to her to find the killer. Mysterious uh, voices no, in the basement. The <laughs> Mysterious basements in the voices. Mysterious cobalt in the basement. It's a picture of Rock Rock on it. <laughs> <laughs> just shrugs. <laughs> yeah. Or probably be me because they would. He would just bust through the door and go point to his mouth. Meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd be the one they find in the basement. Oh my god! Someone puts up. A, uh, someone puts up. Um, an ad for cobalt infestation and it's a drawing of us. Anyways. Did you buy the book? Or oh, yes. you did not buy the book, okay. Yeah we, we did. did. Oh yes yeah, it was. 20 gold. Yes. Um if you could add those to my inventory that would be awesome. Alright. There's no real I... Uh, <clears throat> like I went, uh, who actually bought it? I did. I didn't add them in there. Just I bought both. Oh yeah. Do you have um? Do you have items for these that you can just add to our inventory? 
Uh, not really. Hey, right, well, magic map. I have added to your inventory, and I will add one to yours as well, Cobalt. Okay. <clears throat> I want to do an Arcana check on that piece of metal I found. If you click on a line, sure. you Roll can just Arcana. hit enter to... Um, yeah, that works. <laughs> Alright, I have added it to your inventory. You may do with it what you wish. It's labeled the automatic cartographer. Oh, does look magical at all, Riku? Cool. It is very shiny, though. I see that, but it's, it's literally just a plate. Uh, yeah. Just, a, just like a piece of metal. Yep. It's very <sighs> shiny. <clears throat> uh, is there a blacksmith in the town? There is. I wanna bring it to him. Doesn't seem that it's actually open at the moment. Oh it's yeah, it's late, huh? Midnight. <clears throat> I thought you said it was just 10. Uh, it's still pretty late. Especially for some realm with no electricity. Shush. <laughs> What's the... You know uh, what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my baguette. What's the casting okay, time for that mind trap thing? Uh, it takes about uh, 30 minutes or so. It depends on who you're trapping and if they're unconscious or just asleep. Aren't those the same? Uh, asleep, you can be woken up fairly easily. Unconscious is you're conked out pretty hard. I assume it's touch. Yes. All right. I don't suppose you know what school it is. Not really. All right. Be like. I just figured I'd ask. Illusion, maybe? No. I think it'd be a necromancy. That would make sense. That'd make a lot of sense, actually. Put it down as a necromancy. <laughs> Alright. So, once we're all back together in the city, I guess we'll head through. Alright. Would you all at least... Oh, you're heading back into the real world? I assumed that the city was in the real world. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just teleporting from the city to the end. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. From... I'll... I'll refer to the hidden city as elsewhere and this as the real world or wherever you were last okay. but yes you are now in the in your room in Loudwater I guess we'll head back to the room then since there's nothing good on the board and everything's closed okay I mean, that's if Ruck Ruck wants to follow me. Uh, sure. Where are you going? I'm just going back to the inn. Yeah, I'll follow you. Since there's no bigger anything better on that board. Okay. You arrive back at the inn. It's fairly quiet, and the normal bartender is not... Or the normal normal uh, innkeeper is not at the tavern. <clears throat> at the bar. It's Dova. Sorry, what? So, would it be worth it to try casting Identify on that metal, or would I have detect detected some kind of magic with that check? I think you definitely would have detected some magic if it were. Okay. Magical. All right. Cool. <clears throat> I 
Uh, I guess we're probably going to... Hey, Dover. Oh, I don't know. Uh, on my, the actions tab of my character sheet, at the very bottom, you'll see that diamond mind trap ability is what I called it. Uh, yep. Does that sound good, or should I change anything? Or It sounds right about right. Okay. So yeah, we're going to grab food and eat, sleep, I guess, now. Okay. The meal tonight is a rather simple um, eggs, cheese, and bread. It's been sort of warmed in an oven the whole night. I want to critique the bread. Could be better. Okay. Yeah, it's probably rather dry considering we've it's yeah. been warmed in the oven the entire night. And this is normally morning for you guys. You guys are absolutely just burnt out. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. You do so. After eating, of course. I assume that goes for all of you? Yeah. Well, alright. Mm hmm. Uh, you wake up uh, somewhere. Uh, you wake up at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's when you finally get going after quite a long time traveling. Sorry, a bit tired. Um, Sully, or no, uh, Rockwork, you said you had work tomorrow, right? Pretty early? Yeah. Right. How comfortable is everyone uh, with going a bit longer? I can go. Uh, I can. I mean, I can go f until about 10.30. Yep. My time, I got 9.50 right now. So, about 9.30 for me. Alright, I can do that. I think we should try so, and find some way to make money, but it's up to you, Dova. That's up to you guys more. I could just play. You can, You guys can figure out what you doing. <laughs> Cobalt, were you going to say something? I was not. Um, my music, my mic keeps cutting out like a lot because <laughs> my roommates are also using the internet. Gotcha. I mean, I guess we can go check the board again to see if someone put something new up. Yeah, let's go check. Didn't Unless we... you're doing something specific here, Dova. Not really. Are we on a mission or something? You do recall being told by that dragon to retrieve the last shard the heart the which of course resides one of which is in the the crags near neverwinter and the other of which resides somewhere in the spine of the world Neverwinter, of course, is a good deal sort of northwest from you guys right now. Well, if we wanted to start that during this session, the, I'm, I'm sure the rest of this session would just be us riding in a cart. Yeah. It would be, but you do have to find a way back to the road along the Sword Coast. I thought we were actually going to swing by... Oh, where's the favorite map? Starts soon? Yeah. I, I, I figured we'd just travel along the... Uh, go through the Southwood and probably follow along High Star Lake. Uh, go past that 
the mouth of that river or end of that river, whichever it is. Uh, and then travel along the river until we get to about where that Sarstasisum is. Anybody against that? No, I'm good. <clears throat> That's fine. Just before we leave, I want to go talk to the blacksmith. Have him identify this piece of metal. Uh, you do so. The blacksmith has seems to be a stereotypical blacksmith, a very stouty dwarf, although with a looks to be a flower growing out of his beard. Hmm. Sort of, kind of like this whole city around him. Very, very green. Uh, at the moment, he seems to be um, sharpening a blade on a grindstone. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, yes? Anyone? Hey, how's it going today? Fairly well. Uh, I'm doing okay. I uh, found this piece of metal out in the wilderness. I wonder if you could identify it for me. It, uh... Bring that over here. Oh. So he kind of beckons it over. He places the yeah. sword in the rack on the side and grabs a piece of metal. Turns it over in his hand. So he says, looks to be a fairly good quality piece of steel. So it's it just doesn't look like I've worked with this one before. Uh, I'll give you a f copper piece to have it. No, no it's all right. I'll keep it. All right. Hands it back to you. He says, anything else? Nope, that's all. Thank you. Alright. He continues work on the sword that he was sharpening. Alright, that was worth something. <laughs> Your loot is <clears throat> worth something. Huh? Your loot is worth something. Howdy, folks. Yeah, I guess so, but... I feel like if it was specific, it means something. Unless I'm looking into it too much. I believe you're looking into it too much. Okay. You know that trolls aren't very smart. And like shiny objects. Hmm. Okay. Sounds kind of reminiscent of a bag. certain rogue who decided to pick it up and decided it was worth something. Ooh. When the DM tells me the, of the specific plate of metal sticking out of the snow, I take it. Well, and I'm a oftentimes Cobalt's it's just fluff stuff. Cobalt's like shiny things. Cobalt like shiny things. And I I have a use for it anyways. Dova, you were about to say something. He was playing his character. Anyways, what are you all doing? As you've woken up, you've had a quick breakfast at the inn. You now find yourself pretty much ready to go. I want to check the uh, bounty board before we go. Alright. We do need to... Or, I need to replenish my money. The rest uh, of you have plenty. On it money. is quite a few uh, jobs. Cool has um, um, it's, again, it's going to be the same as what you guys read, Ruck Ruck and Raku, though, uh, Eric's, it's your first time seeing this. Yeah. And yeah, I um, know there's... you do too, Cobalt. There's a few jobs listing, you know, various pests that are a bit a bit troublesome. You know, rats in a cellar. Um, there's a particularly uh, smart coyote that's been pestering a local farm. Um, it's offering, like, 20 gold as a reward. I don't suppose that farm happens to be on our way to Sistarsisisum. I would not be. It's on the other side of the river. Oh, so we'd have to find a way across the river? Or swim. Actually, there's Swimming probably... is a way across the river. Presumably, they'd have a either... Uh, whatever they call them. Ridge? 
Well, yeah, that, but sometimes they either, either have a bridge or they've got a uh, kind of a ferry. Yeah, one that's basically like attached to a rope. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but for 20 gold pieces... I can make him a pet! Or try to. Certainly try to. I mean, I said this is... This is already an, a, a smart coyote. Oh. Just need a headband of intelligence and we got... Smart we got, a, we got a new party member. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say we just head out. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna head out. Uh, let me double check how much rations I've got left. Yeah, we got plenty of rations. Okay, we're headed out. All right. Which direction? I figured we would head southeast from uh, Loudwater uh, towards High Star Lake, uh, skirting around the borders of it, and then heading uh, about east-southeast to the... You see that river heads down to Borskier Bridge? I can see that. Um, it looks like it ends there. So I figured we'd skirt around the northern portion of it and then follow it down between... Uh, so the area between that river and the marsh there until we reach Sasarxis. Some, some. All right. You start to do so, actually basically cutting across a thin prairie that sort of, that's very present along this area this region um, there's trees every once in a while but for the most part it's a prairie let's give some rolls and could you also give me a survival check for navigating absolutely what the heck is that? Apparently nothing was shared. <laughs> How did I do that? I don't know who did that. That was definitely me. Oh. Ah, survival. I saw it happen. Oh. Alright, that's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Nim is a wolf, thank you very much, N. He is not some little coyote. Or a dog. What? Stream chat. Okay. N says that we were going to add a little Nim to the party. My Friday character is named Nim. Oh. He's a sentient feral wolf paladin. Oh my god. Yes, what can I do for you, my child? <laughs> Sorry, let me hold on. Smite him. How's he going to smite Oh, me? dear Real lord. Life? Yes, what can I do for you? <laughs> what is it? Uh, oh. I am dear. Your am your trying. travels are fairly uneventful. Um, it's fairly quiet and fairly enjoyable to travel along the countryside like this. What did I name this session? I wanna, Positively I go glowing. Back. Okay. It's not gonna happen. Something else is gonna happen. Oh joy. Everybody give me a perception check in the tower, please. Of course, I just We're covered not... up the tower. 
We're not going to be glowing with positivity? Right here. Uh... Raku. As you're passing through a small grove of trees, you see a small corner of what looks to be maybe a crate or a table and something of the sort sort of poking through the dirt below a tree sort of in the roots i'll point it out to everyone else and everybody sees it looks fairly ornate uh, i guess i'll hop out of the cart and very carefully walk to it i try to nothing hmm? happens while you're doing this, I will have stopped the cart and uh, be sitting there ready to throw fire if need be. Okay. Yeah, so I'll stealth up to the crate, watching my footing. It's, yeah, it's still there. Nothing's really happened since you've gotten out of the cart. Am I up to the crate? Yeah, you're right there. It's fairly large, what looks to be. Um, pr more likely a chest of some sort. And it has uh, some sort of uh, sol silver and gold inlays to the wood. Which is, is, is there a lock on it? You can't really tell, as you can only see the corner. Uh, I want to carefully dig it out a bit. It'll take a little while, as everybody you see... Uh, Raku start digging something out of the uh, the space beneath the tree. Would you grab the shovel? Probably would make it easier. I'm I'm fine. Okay. You can br you can bring the shovel over. I can use my crowbar to like loosen and drag dirt off of it. Rock Rock will go over and help dig it out. All I right. will give Rock Rock the uh, shovel. I will keep oh, my distance. No, he's using his hands and feet. After about an hour or so, you manage to unearth this fairly large, ornately decorated chest. You don't happen to see any inscriptions relating to name or, you know, do not open. And there is a very, very solid high-quality lock on there, Raku. One All that you right. haven't seen before, but you're familiar with the type. I want to cast digitation on the lock to clean everything out. You do so. You kind of sense a bunch of dirt that gets cleaned out of the hole and um, some lubricant as well, but that's you know, that's not very important. All right. I am going to get cracking on this thing. Uh, Kale sees Bald Eagle, actually. Uh, give me a Thieves' Tools check. After about 10 minutes or so, you feel you aren't making very much headway with this. You, you've, you've kind of had it going for a little while, but you c slipped a little bit and it's fallen back towards its neutral position. It's within your skill, but mm -hmm. it will take a long time. Um, is there a logo on the lock or anything? Uh, there is. It is the logo of what looks to be a hammer and the head of a rhino. That's nothing you've really heard of. Ah, uh, damn it. Every time it's a new lock, I can't use one I've already done before. That is unfortunate. I know the dagger it's lock. I know an arcane my... lock. A stout Dwegger. Can I use my... Uh... Oh, it's the stout Dwegger lock. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, then I already I have experience with these. Oh, it's in your notes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I was referring to. Oh, okay, yeah, so... Could I get advantage, since I've worked on this before? Yes. Uh, can I re-roll, or you just want me to roll one more? i just roll one more. Uh, isn't there... I, I don't remember if Fifth has the uh, take 20 option. Uh, there is definitely a take 20 option to take 
basically a day or a week to just take 20 on a result. Mm. Mm. I don't know about that long. As I recall, it was an hour, but... Still. Uh, it'll be <laughs> Either enough. way, up to you. After about an hour of continued work, and a few sort of tense moments... Uh, by the way, what are you all doing in this hour? I'm just keeping an eye out. I'm going to be scanning for the... Uh, over the area around us. Uh, okay. While glancing back at the uh, chest here and there, uh, Kale is keeping an eye on that bald eagle. Uh, if it starts going for him, I throw fire. Okay. Uh, when you and, when you saw the bald eagle, it was kind of perched in a tree, pruning itself. Okay. And that's why I took the notes on the locks that I've cracked. Uh, by now, it's flown away. Rock Rock. Yep. And Raku. You hear the chest click faintly. Raku, you know that it's definitely open. I tilt my uh, head to the side. I'll take the lock off or the latch off of the lock. It's and I will stand to off. Huh? It's mounted firmly on there. It's like okay. inside so, the actual So I'll padlock. I'll stand to the side of it and open it slowly to watch the the like the arms on the inside the brackets okay to make sure it's not trapped as you guys are the only ones that are really paying attention paying close attention to the chest as other everybody else is kind of looking elsewhere you know mm -hmm. um, i'm going to message to you and to rock rock what's actually in the chest okay cool Mm. Oh, is it on Discord? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so then. Are you typing a response? Yep. Can everybody give me a perception check? Uh, including the two people at the chest. In the uh, tower? Yes. And uh, would you please roll for that in the tower, uh, Raku? Yeah. Still working on that? Me? Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Roll for what I said? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll list what um, what that did. Uh, once okay. This is, yeah. So. Eric's and actually uh, Sully and Cobalt, can I get a perception roll for you two in the tower, please? Yes. Let's 
Sully, that was a nat one. Ah, well then, time to use lucky. Mm -hmm. Anyways, all of you guys see there's a faint sort of glittering light coming out of where everybody's gathered, or where the Rock Rock and Rakur gathered around the chest. As well as the faint sound of almost like the clinking of glass and metal. Hmm. Everybody sees and hears this? I will call out, uh, what's going on over there, guys? Anybody gonna answer? Um, I'm waiting for Raku to answer. Oh, I was I'm waiting just... for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at you. Looking I'm... at you, looking at the chest. Looking at you. I'm being... <laughs> I guess I'm doing the same thing. Yep. <laughs> Wrong rock. What was that? <laughs> you know, rock rock's not much of a talker, so... <laughs> You'll get more out of the donkey than you would him. Can we fix it? Um, we hmm. have mending. And I'll get that <laughs> right away with the actual uh, fantasy grounds for you, uh, Riku. Okay. Let's open up yours. So, what's everybody doing? Staring. Uh, hold on. I'm Raku. I messaged you. Uh, I feel like a small explanation is needed because I was actually absent for some time due to a family emergency. I can elaborate further, but not here. So, what's happening? They're working on a chest while we are keeping an eye out for attacks. And how did we get to the situation? We, uh, Raku saw it off to the side. Okay. I guess this was our solution to making money instead of me playing and you all doing your own things <laughs> this was just something we saw off the path well not the path because oh, we're not going along a path but you know what I mean alright so we're out of the city then yes oh. we're not waiting for the barge or whatever it was thank you for the follow high jumper uh, no, we are headed to Sistartisism. Huh. Alright then. Uh, go ahead and give me a roll in the dice tower for that one, Rock Rock. Okay. I'm gonna ask again what's going on? Um. Yeah, that that'll do it. You see that rock, rock, uh, uh, and no, I, are strangely uh, pretty uh, silent over there. I I'm like shaking 
in my head and I finally get myself out of it and I'm just like, uh, uh look 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 what we found over here. I put everything Yeah, I'll figure it out on uh, fantasy grounds for you, Rock Rock. Alright. Alright, hold up. Let me send something to Dova real quick. Okay. There's a lot of that going around. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna produce my loot and play. For no discernible reason. Let's see if I can lure something out. Uh, everybody who is not Rock Rock and Raku, uh, you see... Actually, hold on. You could just say yes or no. Not Raku. Yeah, I did. Okay. Everybody who is not Raku and Rock Rock, you see them uh, whisper something to one another. And that's really it. No, and then I called them over to come oh, yeah. check it out. Yeah. I'll come over. I will have Kale keep his distance for now. Sully approaches cautiously. As you because. all approach, and Cobalt, if you're trying to say something, we cannot hear you. Yeah. I heard a I... Like a... There you go. I'm not trying to speak. I'm. All right. You know. Going around, or coming closer to the chest, you see that sucker is chock full of shinies. Oh my god! There's like silver candlesticks. There's jewels. There's gems. It's a literal che treasure chest. Man, we, we were really debating on keeping this to ourselves, but <laughs> freaking we had that nice haul, and you guys need shit too, so we need to keep the party stocked. Well, yeah. thank you. I'm going to get a parcel going on what's actually in there. Did you ask how, or? What is actually in there? Oh, I see. Well, so what are you guys doing? Thank you for the consideration. Uh, I'd say we should go ahead and get this on loaded onto the cart and keep going while going through it. May I make a suggestion? Of course. That bag of polishing, was it? We make them more shiny. Yeah, we can worry about that later. Okay. So, I guess we don't have to fucking grind anymore. <laughs> I mean, this will... I will, but that's just because it's my profession. This will definitely help with the level ups I was talking about earlier, Zim. Level yeah. ups. Yeah. Oh, and something else. You guys do level up to level 9. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's a scroll of experience. <laughs> there's... <laughs> Conveniently, there's five scrolls of experience. <laughs> Mine just nope. has a picture on it. Right, no, but it's going to be, I think, level 11 is when shit's going to get real for me. Ah, oh, where is this? There it is. 
Dova, thank you for that. Yep. yep. And Raku, thank you for writing down that you knew that lock. <laughs> <laughs> that that was uh <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I think that means great. it does. That means that my wild shape goes up. That means I get a level eight thing. And I get a feat. I might get a feat. I might take an ability score increase because I drastically need it. Uh. Oh yeah, you at level eight, yeah. Yeah. I was like, we don't normally get one at level nine. Yeah, I'm level eight. <laughs> <clears throat> so. And wait, let me see. Average hit points added for rogue level uh, 5 plus 2. Is that right? Or do I still get to roll? You get to roll, uh, you still but... Roll. If it's above that, then you take that. But if it's below that, then you take the average. Wait, what's the... Oh, okay, I see it. Alright. Yeah. Well, taking average again. God, you've had the worst luck with HP. You've had the worst luck with everything. My HP is like the lowest it can be, given the circumstances. Hey, I got three Thank more. You. We've uh, between me and Raku butchering that troll. Yeah, we've taken a like, rest, it, right? It just it just took two of us. Yeah, <laughs> you guys did take a rest. We destroyed that thing. Yeah, trolls aren't Dude, I that powerful, so yeah. There was also. Well, they regenerate, and there's two of us, and I did 42 damage in one hit. <laughs> and I attacked it like four times, just <laughs> lopping at it. <clears throat> so yeah, I can become a CR3, which means that Kale also is able to become a CR3. I'll have to update where, Kale. Guys, please message me privately on Discord if there was anything to update on your cards aside from your health and... Well, actually, yeah, send me your health as well. Your okay. Health. Uh, <laughs> oh, I go with the average. This is this is actually ridiculous. How much this is all worth? <laughs> <laughs> I I can only imagine the math into this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I get a fifth level spell. Oh no. Yep. Do I? No, I just got a higher level spell. You know, that's probably enough. <laughs> No more, oh, please. Well, I get a fifth no, 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 level no, 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 spend slot. all this. I get a fifth level slot, but I don't have a spell yet. Time to decide what spell I want. Spells I want. You can click group and go to new. By the way, for future reference. How do you feel about that parcel? It's in the party sheet, guys. Under yeah, look at the party sheet. Oh, party sheet. That is very nice. Um, I'm going Woo! to reveal the yeah. new ability that I have to everybody. That's a lot of that's a lot of numbers. <clears throat> and suggest mm -hmm. that I get the diamonds. Oh, because of your mind thing? Yes. Sure. I don't need components for my magic. I mean, but that's ten thousand gold. So then you 
however but we these calculate aren't this going to be used for actual money these are used it's not actually going to be consumed actually i think i only need one of them because i how many times can mm -hmm. i use that by the way dova what that dot mine trap thing uh it requires a long rest between uses Okay, so I only need one of them for it, because I can't use it more than that, because we can only have one long rest every 24 hours, and it would wear off between then anyways. So... So... But that's how not are we doing treasure this? per actual. That's not actual treasure. I would like the ruby. I'm sure it's, it's red, Rock Rock. What's red? The ruby. Oh. Shimmering. Hey, Dova. Beautiful. I'll just reach in and grab the ruby. Hey, I it's, want that. It's, it's <laughs> shiny. You're getting, you're, a, you're getting the diamond. But that's I'm, counting for the party. Yes. I'm hey, Dova. Just, just grabbing it. <laughs> Are any of these magical? Uh, it does not seem so. Okay. Okay, well, should we, like, start at the top, like, with the am assist? Well, I already claimed the ruby, so... Okay, you, so... You can guys try to fight, but it may not go well with so, taking something uh, from Rock Rock. Jeez, ruby is 50,000? It's Dova. shiny. No, it's just 5,000. Yes, 5,000, that's what I meant. Homo yeah. is going to rifle through the treasure chest to try to find a blue gemstone. Alright. To match the scales. You don't seem to find anything that's blue other than the... other than a silver necklace with what looks to be a small sapphire. A small what? You cut out. Mm, Homo wants this one. Okay, so we should... I guess, without the diamonds... Take the total gold piece thing and then divide it by four. Why four? Because, or is there five of us? There's five. Okay, then divide it by five and then everyone subtracts what they want until they don't have anything. The diamond that I'm grabbing... I just I said the like... diamonds. Okay. Well, yeah. one of the Besides... diamonds can stay and the... I only need one for the spell. I can only use one for the spell, rather. And I guess since the diamond is... Well, it was actually about as much as the ruby. You know what? I opened the lock. I'm taking the other diamond. <laughs> Alright. That simplifies things, because I don't know how to divide them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess everyone... Uh, except one person, I guess, me, can have two amethysts. I'll have one. Okay. Uh, one person would- Wait, oh, three. wait, oh no. I could also no. transfer it to Shrek. Wait, no, there's five of us, I forgot. Yes, hello. Okay, so, so yeah, everyone can get two, and okay. then there's gonna- Let's start with this. How about we start with things that people want to actually keep? Selling is a different matter altogether, because we can put whatever we don't actually want to Shrek, mm -hmm. and then we can sell those and d divvy them up later. But if you want to actually keep something, then <laughs> that's what we should divide up right now, and then... We'll just sell the rest and divide up the money later for whatever we don't actually want. Okay. Um, I would like... I mean, the harp, I definitely think, should go to Sully. At least if I'd he's going to it. use it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could play it. I can sing. Um, I'd... <clears throat> obviously the necklace is going to Cobalt, Rock Rock apparently is grabbing the ruby. 
I'm sure I could take you, Rock Rock, but I will not. You want it? You gonna try? No, we're not gonna try. I would like an emerald when I start getting into uh, making jewelry for my disguises. Ah. Oh, rest in peace, Cobalt. Said that died. Oh. I was about to say for a second, I mean, you do realize he can't hear you if his headset died. Yeah. Actually, he might be able to. I don't know. Maybe he's got his... Maybe his speaker... Well, he, he, said, he said, be right back. Yeah. True. Anyways, I figure we definitely sell the painting, because we don't have a lot of use for that. Anybody mm -hmm. opposed? No. 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 All right, put that on Shrek, please. I know that Cobalt needed the... I know that Cobalt originally needed a pearl. And he did just trade that in, so I'd say we give him at least one of those back. How do I... <coughs> Can I specify exactly how many each person receives? I think this? you have to... I think it's basically you just put their names in multiple times, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. That might work. I mean, you can see right now by distributing it. It's the arrow in the very center of the party sheet. Yeah, yeah. Not that one. That one. Yeah. Um. Uh, we'll come back to the rest of that, because that will stay there until we actually distribute it. All right. You ready for a Possible nice little breaking stuff? I, mean, I, w I no, wanted an emerald. No. I will come back no. to the rest of this. We're just going to see if this works real quick. Okay. Ready for a stimulus package? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's some lag. Okay, so it did work. Uh, Shrek got... Oh, I didn't even see the coins either. Oh yeah, the coins got distributed evenly. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see the coins. <laughs> really, guys? Saw... Yeah, I only saw the gems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were shiny. Oh my gosh, that's that's a beautiful number of platinum pieces. What is it? One platinum equals how much gold? Ten. Ten. Uh, ten. ten. Mm. How many platinum pieces? All right, the three pearls About got 58 distributed. Fifty-eight for each. <clears throat> Um, as far as just having stuff, um, I would like, uh, two of the amethyst, an emerald, and, uh, there's so many, four obsidian, personally. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How about I just do this? Where's your, where's your character? There it is. I'm just gonna throw four in your inventory, then take four off of here. Uh, that'd be a lot faster. Actually, it's already <clears throat> de decreasing. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it's already taking it out of the party sheet. Cool. One emerald One and two amethyst. It's actually wonderful. And the remaining money that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and just add to Shrek, because that's our party stuff. All okay. Right. <clears throat> Let's see. I want to grab uh, four Amethyst. All right. Uh, to divide those evenly, it would be two each, and one person gets three. So By five? The Amethyst? Yeah. There were 11. Oops. Oh. 10 divided by 5 do? is 2 with 1 remaining. Yeah, okay. You wanted 4? Um, just give everybody 2 and me 3. If I do that, I give you 1 and then split it evenly. 
How about we leave yeah, the last that... one and put that... Uh, put the extra one in Shrek to sell. Okay. Just to be even. I already gave him one. Well, give each I'm person two. Yeah. It should... Should split it if I leave it blank, right? No. It won't do anything if you leave it blank. Alright, oh, because that's... Yeah. So that was um that was a find. Yeah. I that was. <laughs> I'm literally looking at this table I have right here. I'm like they're literally just complaining about not having money. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, we'll get, how about I fix that? <laughs> but I fix that, yeah. <laughs> we definitely appreciate it. Uh, uh thank the dice. That was none of my doing, except the actual treasure <laughs> filling. That was amazing. <laughs> that was like some good dice rolls. Uh, yeah. I did not get an amethyst. Because uh, I gave one to Raku. I can take one from him and give it to Shrek, though. Yeah, that works. If you must. Hello. Hi. Hello. Cobalt so, has like... a horde now. Uh, you can go right. ahead and reduce those coins to zero. I've distributed them to Shrek. Alright. And what about the emeralds and the obsidian? I would like an emerald, but if there's anyone else that hasn't really gotten anything, you're free to take one. Yeah, it would be Cobalt and Sully that haven't gotten anything that's big value. I think the two items the they did get was only like 250 Yes, I have a nice harp now, but I'm not sure if it's of its actual worth. Cobalt's going to lick the emerald to see if it tastes like green apple. I'll take eight obsidian. Green apple, sadly. Oh. Well, it's still shiny. Take eight obsidian? Yeah. I mean, I'll take whatever people don't want. So. Cobalt will take five obsidian. How many did you take, Riku? Eight. Oh. And, uh, Cobalt, you wanted five? Sure. You wanted, you wanted four or five. What? Five. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Now, big value objects that I want. I don't need them for components. Sally, we've well, already literally distributed everything. Left. Yes, I know. I'm just pondering. Cobalt's going to put all of his treasures in the, the polishing purse. It doesn't seem to fit all of that. It can only fit about five coins at one time. Okay, well, not all at once, then. Okay. One at a time, rotating them all through, right? Yeah. All Maybe right. depending on the size of the piece of the obsidian. Maybe a couple of them at a time. Okay. Alright, 15 pieces of obsidian left. I'm going to go ahead and give I'll... half to Rock and half to Shrek. Okay, that works. Bing, bang, boom. Awesome. Kobo, we'll get the last obsidian. Huzzah. Yes. Now, what about the chest itself? I was definitely going to think of that. 
I, as Rock Rock, could care less about that chest. <clears throat> I fig I mean, I figured we'd add it to Shrek. I mean, it's an extra storage container, so... It's, it's an expensive chest. Well, it's going to put all... Once once all the stuff is uh, adequately shiny, it's going to put all of it in his uh, Leoman's chest. Alright. Your... Eh. For the record, uh, we are still traveling. Just Amateur hold is. Okay. Yeah. At your amateur horde has started to grow, Cobalt. Yay! Cobalt is incredibly happy. Oh, you get that one? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm looking at something else. Oh, hey, I picked my spells, by the way, so I'm all good. Anyways, I think that will be enough, because Rock Rock has to go. And I also and have class tired. tomorrow. Yes. So yes, I believe this will be good for the night. Uh, should we add the chest to... Uh, Shrek? You feel like it. I'll find an item for it. Yeah, go ahead and add it to Shrek. I guess I can not complain about uh, that shiny piece of metal I got. It is really shiny. Also, guys, if you do a uh, multi-class, I will need to know that as well. I'm going to assume that you guys just level up into whatever your main class is, but if you grab another one, I will need to know. For your cards. Uh, I, I put a level into Barbarian. Alright, I've thrown a chest into Shrek's inventory. I didn't get a, I didn't get a reaction. Um, I'm just trying to imagine you trying to rage, and it's <laughs> just not working with my brain right now. <laughs> so, are you... I do need messages from everybody else for your levels up. I'll leave the server up for a bit for you guys to send that and take care of that. Otherwise... Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this evening. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. I will be streaming again tomorrow. Uh, it will be Baldur's Gate 2. And I hope to see you all there. We do have uh, Fists of Furry D&D &D on Friday. Hope to see you on that. And hit that follow or subscribe button, depending on what site you're watching this stream on. And I will smash see that like button. Yes, the like button. Uh, make sure you ring smash the notification it. bell as well on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff to smash say. the button. Ring the bell. Punch Thanks. the subscribe in the face. <laughs> Do the things. Thank you, everybody, link for it, joining. Link yes. it to all your group chats. Goodbye. Bye.